All right. Going to be starting a playthrough on Breath of the Wild. Uh, I've played this game twice before. Once when it first came out, and then I immediately started it again after I beat it. And 100%ed it on Master Mode. Uh, but that was a few years ago. That was like when it came out. So I think 2017? So, yeah. Starting brand brand spanking new. Probably going to 100% it. Um, more than likely. <laughs> or at least I'm going to try to. I only remember bits and pieces. Ooh, actual dialogue. I was so happy when Zelda actually got proper dialogue. Nothing wrong with the silent stuff, but I don't know. Something about dialogue, right? Just, it makes everything so much more immersive just to be able to hear what people have to say. Open your eyes. Now, the game isn't 100% dialogue. Open your eyes. But it's a lot of it. Uh, Wake up, Link. Oh, I've been lying in this goo like Daredevil for like a hundred years. Or at least that's what it feels like. Oh, look at my nips. Oh, check out my crotch. Oh, <laughs> is this the beginning of Alien? Oh, the tone is very much Alien right now. Okay, well, I'm using a controller for the first time on my Nintendo Switch, so I was just testing a button. <laughs> I normally just use the Joy-Cons, but uh, the Joy-Cons have been having problems for me lately, so. Luckily, I found this Donkey Kong controller on sale, like, a couple of years ago, and I've just never used it. <laughs> Got it for a really good price, too. It was like $10. Okay, so, so far, basic movement. <laughs> Remembering how to play, because I don't remember. That's the run button. If I had a weapon, that would be the, uh... This is the, uh, the fake out. Like, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, how you doing? Is that dodge roll? Why is jump? Ooh, that's gonna be hard to remember. Okay. I might have to adjust the volume as the game goes on because I'll keep an eye on the little the little icon letting me know how loud that it is. Is a Shika slate. Take it. That's it a Wii U. You after your long slumber. <laughs> Thank you very much. Only Nintendo console I've ever not owned is a Wii U. It's never came up. There was never any exclusive content I cared about on the Wii U. Ooh. A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before. And yet there's something familiar about it. It's like it's making Nintendo lots and lots of money. Well, not the Wii U. That was a horrible failure. But <laughs> the Switch is a horrible success. Well, it's a great success. That's yeah, one of those. I'm really looking forward to playing this again. I had a fucking blast playing it the first two times. Alright, I feel like... This button that does nothing right now is going to be the crouch button later. Because, you know, in this game you can do stealth. You can sneak up on enemies. Alright. Ooh, those are weird triggers. Okay, that apparently was not that button. Oh, okay, there's R and then there's ZR. That's fucking... Strange. Okay. And they don't feel good. Ooh, those triggers don't feel good. <laughs> Well-worn trousers. Oh yeah. Alright. Well, let's equip everything first. At the same time. Old shirt. This shit's been in here for like a hundred years. It's coming apart at the seams and looks like Garbo. But, you know what? I like the way it looks. Oh, I'm going to miss having all of my outfits. I 100%ed I the game. Um, on my on both of my playthroughs. My normal playthrough and my master mode playthrough. 
Uh, right. Oh, that means I, I don't think I'm on master mode right now. Oh, that's unfortunate. I wanted to play on master mode. Um, so I didn't want to delete all of my progress in the game because, you know, I, I was very proud of the fact that I 100%ed. Wrong button. All right, I gotta get used to hitting that. Um, so I created a new profile on my Switch just so I could uh, not delete all of my save data from my first playthrough. Uh, downside on that is, I guess I can't start the game on master mode. Ah, well, you know, save it'll be. It's fine. It's fine. I was really looking forward to it, though. <laughs> this is one of the games where I think that it's, uh, like, the harder, the, the extra hard difficulty they have just did Hold nothing but add to the game. To the pedestal. It was a wonderful hard that mode. We'll show you the way. There's something in the menu that I can make the uh, dialogue go faster. Not the dialogue, but the text portion of it. Authenticating. Shika Slate confirmed. Beep, boop, beep. Opening door. Oh, it's horrible. It's so bright. What is this devilry? Oh, it's so much easier to take screenshots than the PlayStation. You are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. <laughs> they got a good voice to be Zelda. Um, although that was a little heavy-handed. You are the light. <laughs> Reminds me of the end of Smallville. I think Darkseid screams something at, at Superman that's like that. You are the light. <laughs> it's like, okay. Good talk, bro. So sprint is B, and jump. Okay. I think I'd already figured that out. And he can climb everything but the smooth stuff. Oh, I'm excited to play this game again. It's so gorgeous! Fucking hell! It's ridiculous how beautiful this game is. Like, fuck, I live in paradise. Minus all the monsters that'll kill you around every corner. And the creepy old men that just watch you whenever you wake up. You know, and all, all the, the reviving evil that tends to take over the land every, like, hundred years or so. And <laughs> just, you know, with, the, with a few exceptions here and there. Like, this fucking world is gorgeous. Oh. This is, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right, to the adventure. Give me that stick. I have a tree branch. I'm ready to take on Ganon. You know, I could head to the castle right now. I've done it before, though I didn't, I've never done it before, like on my, like right from starting the game. I mean, you can't do it right now, Never mind. Uh, you can do it the moment you uh, finish this little island tutorial. You could go straight to the castle. Which might not be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> because I could get myself some pretty kick-ass upgrades. Not, they're temporary upgrades, but there are some great weapons. And I think I remember where they are. There's like some electric swords and some pedestals. There's there's a room filled with like awesome kick-ass great swords and shields. There's bows on the walls that are really awesome. So there's some temptingness there. All right, can I dodge roll? Okay, you can't dodge roll? How do I roll into this tree? Do I have to hit it? Yeah. Or I can do this. Let's see if that works. Hey, it does work. Hey. God, it's so weird not having a dodge roll. I don't remember that. I will take your baked apple. It is my baked hmm. apple now. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. <laughs> it's not creepy, I swear. 
Please help yourself, young child stranger. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. It's not creepy the way I say succulent, is it? It is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts, given the fact that this is nightmare land. Who are you? <laughs> I'm not going to do that for Link. Who are you? <laughs> Me! I'll spare you my life story because it's far too awesome and we haven't gotten there in the plot yet. I'm just an old fool who has lived here, alone, for quite some time now. I'm not the king at all. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where, where are we? Answering a question with a question. Bold move, fuckface. That's fair enough, though. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. There's like a lot of legends about this place. Pretty much all about my daughter. I mean, about some random princess named Zelda. Uh, not my daughter. I'm not the king. <laughs> that temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. It used to be surrounded by a really robust and awesome village until it got fucking decimated over and over and over again. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay, not the zombie game. Yet another forgotten entity. A mere ghost of its former self, like me. I mean, I'm not a ghost. What? Well, it was nice to meet you, creepy old man. Um, I'm going to take your, uh, I'm assuming that's a torch. I'm, I will take your torch. You can switch weapons quickly. Okay, I'm going to assume that's the D-pad then on the left. Because I don't have those four separate buttons. But I have a D-pad. Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. I guess I'm, I guess you're just taking my shit. I mean, are you jacking my shit right now? And how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? To set things on fire? <laughs> well, I'm going to use it to set things on fire, of course. That is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that, you fucking psychopath, around any dry grass that might catch fire. You know, there are plenty of monsters in this area. That torch would make a good weapon, if need be. Hmm. However... Do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. You must rip out their throats with your teeth and bask in their blood. I mean, yes. All right, they're teaching me how to target. Shocking. It's not like I didn't know that. Uh, hey, sweet. Well, it has been a pleasant conversation. Can I talk to you more? Yes. What are you doing? I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course. Look at me. I'm just sitting here, enjoying the fire. Like, so you're, you're a fucking creepo. Although I'll need to cook myself another baked apple at some point, because some asshole walked up and just took mine that was on the ground. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. I have never tried baking an apple. It's tempting. Uh, okay. It's pleasant talking to you, old man. Uh, fire hot. Okay, I just learned a lesson. Fire hot. All right. Uh, uh, scrub it away. What? Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. I was about to say, how do I access my Sheikah slate? Follow the Sheikah slate. It's like it's a tablet. What is this devilry? Oh, damn it. Damn it. Delete stamp. Nope. Delete stamp. God, normally in video games, that button in almost every console in every video game is the select button. But not in this game. It's that button, which in almost every other console and video game is the back button. <laughs> but in this game, it's literally reversed. Ooh, that's going to take some getting used to. Oof. Okay. Uh, let's go. Ooh. You have a woodcutter's axe. Really good for fucking cutting down lots of wood. Giggity, giggity. Ooh, I vaguely remember jumping into that circle. I think gets me a heart piece? Not sure. Can you climb a tree? 
Aha! All right, I want. Damn it! All right, woodcutter's axe. Thank you. Eh, might as well. You need wood. I don't remember for what, but you need it. Wood! A portable bundle of wood. Wood! You kindly. Ooh, I think if I jump into that, though, I'm going to die. Because I don't think my current Link has enough swimming. But I could be wrong. How do you put weapons away? Oh, there we go. Alright. Hey, it's a, it's a Korok. Oh, <laughs> you found me! Huh? You're not Hestu, but you can see me. I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. <laughs> well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. Korok seed, that's what it is, little pieces of poop. I do remember if you get all the Korok seeds, they reward you with like a piece of poop. <laughs> like, it's literally like a piece of poop. Um, I did do it, uh, because I wanted to do it. I, I looked up a guide, but, uh, I found a bunch on my own, but there were just a bunch of Korok seeds I just didn't see. Oh, and my favorite! <laughs> my favorite. And my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. <laughs> Alright, good talk. Uh, oh, you can dash in the water. Good to know. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm all wet. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm going to miss all of my super climbing abilities. Aren't you just a rusted piece of shit? Rusty broadsword. But it's powerful, but I think it breaks super fast. Alright, I need bombs to get down into that. Anything else cool around here? Doesn't look like it. I don't think you can dive in this game. Like, I, oh, I, but I don't remember. Past Zelda games had diving. Like, in um, Ocarina of Time, you could get the uh, Zora scale, which lets you actually dive underwater. The diving was not great, but it, it existed. <laughs> it was there. All right, I'm not going to dash because I don't want to drown. Eh, okay. Any cool hidden stuff. Temple of Time. Ah, the memories. I want to play, like, all the Zelda games again. Like, it's it's crazy how much I want to play, like, every single Zelda game again. And I figured it might be a good idea just to start with the, the biggest one. Hey! Ooh, you are stronger than I thought you'd be. Uh. Uh. Hey. I like your tree branch. It's my tree branch now. Dead dude. I murdered him for nothing. <laughs> you can throw the weapon in your hand. All right. Can't you carry more than one tree branch? Oh, I guess maybe because my thing's about to explode. Well, why would I want to do that? Like, I could get one more hit on a bad guy. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous! All right. To the temple of time! Oh, come on. I was hitting the wrong button. All right, choo choo. I choo choo choose you to give me your goo. All right. Tree branch. Oh, this game is just so crisp. I love it. This game is crisp. This game is beautiful. This game is, like, incredibly well made. This game was made with so much love, it skipped an entire console generation. Because they were working on it so fucking hard. Which is admirable. And my buddy always says something, and I agree with him completely. It's not such a bad thing for a delay in a video game. Because it just means we're probably going to get a better product. And he's right. Hey, I want your club. That's my club now. 
Killed with your own weapon. The dishonor. That actually is pretty dishonorable. <laughs> I think it was uh, Zombieland, where the main character starts screaming like, Don't kill me with my own gun! When somebody gets the gun away from him. <laughs> And I understand why he would, uh, why he would say that. Who gave you that Boko Club? I gave that to Daniel. Ow! Why did you kill me? I just wanted to love. Oh, boy. Let's see. Do, do, do. Looking for treasure. Because I don't actually remember where much of anything is. Some, but not much. Hylian trousers. Slightly better than what you currently have. They don't have holes that aren't a hundred years old. Yours smell like ass. Well, thank you. Oh, I feel revitalized already. I found pants in a box. It's your pants in a box. They're in a box, yeah, yeah. All right. Leap. All right, any other new shit around here? Don't think so. God, this game is just... I will probably be gushing about this game every recording. Because this game is just fucking amazing. <laughs> BT dubs, uh, none of my recordings are really good for kids. Because I like to cuss. So sue me. Don't sue me. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I like cussing. It's fun. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Our culture makes it so taboo that when, like, it's just, it's kind of stupid. So it's like, yeah, why not? As long as you choose a time and place, and, you know, I'm in my own home by myself just playing a video game. So, yeah, I'll cuss. I'm not going to go cussing when I'm, like, in line at a store, but... You know, everything has a time and place, and I like cussing. Ah, uh, the history behind these things. Is there a photo mode, or is it... I don't think this game has a photo mode. I'm going to have to research that. Uh, oh! Oh, I just remembered something. Um... Amiibos. I could give myself awesome shit right now. Well, maybe I could give myself awesome shit. Would an Amiibo work on this? I imagine it would have to. It's a licensed Nintendo product. I'm gonna go grab some Amiibos. <laughs> I forgot about that! It was one of the reasons I even got my uh, Majora's Mask Amiibo, was because you could get cool stuff from it. I do have all the champion amiibos. I bought them when they first came out um, because they were amazing. Um, but I've never opened them, so I can't actually use them to scan anything. <laughs> I don't really want to open them because they just, they're beautiful. And the moment I take them out, they'll become less beautiful and just get like all whack over time. All right. How do I use an amiibo? Well,. Can I change controls so that that button stops going back? I need to switch the A and B buttons, because that, that's going to fucking kill me. Um, ability controls. Do I not even have the amiibo yet? I want to say it's... An ability of the Sheikah Slate. Uh, how do I unzoom? Hmm, B to quit. Oh, that's how I sneak. Hey, learn sneaking. Uh, <laughs> huh. nope, don't do that. 
Hmm. Maybe I should Google it. <laughs> Damn it. Hang on, I'm gonna Google. Maybe you get the power later. I'm pretty sure you had to activate something in your Sheikah Slate. Answer every question I have for the rest of time. Breath of the Wild Amiibo. How to. <laughs> Why not? You have to unlock the amiibo rune in the game. Okay. Okay. So it is a thing. So I'll just continue on. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. I've got... Uh, Majora's Mask Link right here. Holding the Goron Mask. And I've also got Twilight Princess Zelda. Uh... Those are the only two opened amiibos I have that are Zelda-related. Uh, I don't believe I have any other Zelda ones besides the Guardian ones. And uh, yeah, I just love the Guardian ones so much I don't have the heart to ever open them. <laughs> Though... Did I m maybe open one of them? I don't remember. I don't think I did. It doesn't feel like something I would have done. Anyway, I'm wasting time. <laughs> get to the game this record this game is probably already gonna be like 30 recordings as it is this is a giant game and i am intending to 100 percent it <laughs> or okay like 95 percent it maybe i doubt i'll do the korok seeds oh hello how are you my name is link i like your boko club give me your teeth or give me death. Alright, any good loot around here? Man, the temple has seen better days. It is fucking cool, all the ruins in this game. Like, and the sheer history of, like, you. Can, this is a land that feels like it's seen some shit. Like, even if you don't know the other games, like, just looking around, it feels like this land has been around. <laughs> And I respect that. Now, I know that there's a lot of people out there that actually took a long time for them to get used to the idea that weapons broke down. Uh, it never really bothered me. Yeah, it was weird. But it didn't really bother me. Alright, draw bro, bow, release the fire. Ah, okay, there we go. It was... Firing the bow was actually really easy with the, uh... The motion controls. As much as I'm not a big fan of motion controls. Um, so I'm going to miss that. Come on, no money? Pretty sure you can still get money from pots. Good to know. Good to know. Nope, nope, nope. Link, you're getting a, little, uh, getting a little ahead of yourself. Getting a little ahead of yourself. In fact, I don't believe there's a valid reason to ever climb anything in here? I, I, I don't remember. I, I, I genuinely don't remember. Search. Oh, right! Because this game actually is massively open world and crafty, uh, you can actually search stuff. Not used to that in a Zelda game. Ancient Spring. All of that stuff I do vaguely remember becoming very, very important. I don't remember why. Or the circumstances, but I remember them being important. Man, they remodeled the uh, Temple of Time quite a lot <laughs> over the years. 
All right, I pray to you, three goddesses. And the goddess statue smiles upon you. All right, hope there's nobody creepy standing behind me. It's going to freak me out. No, there's nobody behind me. All right. Good talk. You really helped me out there. You really did me a solid. All right, I'll go to the stupid <laughs> mark. Not going to lie, I forgot that there was a mark over there. I thought this is where I was supposed to go. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I forgot that the map actually has a little blinking icon right there. It's so fucking obvious that it's really stupid that I forgot about it. <laughs> I am dumb. No apologies. I am dumb. Dumb to dumb. Dumb. All right. This was the ruin I went through with the, the pants, right? Yeah, I think the pants were right there. Ooh, butterfly. You can catch them, I think, right? Probably. All right. Any good structures? Yes. Hey. Well, <laughs> now I just feel like a fool. Like a damn fool. I see my arrow sticking out of the explosive crate. <laughs> I would love to read the thoughts of those bokoblins. Like, did he think that would explode it? It wasn't even on fire. Uh, can I take that meat? Yes. One of my favorite things about this game is like when you're about to die in a battle, just shove your mouth full of food. <laughs> and suddenly you're better. <laughs> just like real life. Like, when you're feeling down, just fucking eat something. You'll do better. Alright. I guess I need fire arrows, which I don't think are a thing in this game. I think you just have to, like, set shit off. Like, you have to be lucky enough to be standing near a fire, maybe? I don't think there's actually fire arrows. Hey. What'd you just try to do? You just tried to shoot me? Do you not know who I am? Nice try. <laughs> we call that murder where I come from. Alright. Same thing to switch, apparently. For bow and arrows. No? Must be the other directions. How do I switch my bow? Hmm, I genuinely don't remember. I like your shield. Can I have it? <laughs> Why? I was just defending my home and my family. I will take that. Raise your shield. Makes sense. There's nothing quite like just a classic sword and shield, even if they aren't fancy. Like, a wooden shield is not a bad thing. Like, it's better than nothing. Alright. So I'm murdering the shit out of everything. Which is very Zelda. Or Link, I guess. He is a bit of a sociopath. <laughs> just a smidge. Is this the first tower? Power, power. Plug your Sheikah slate conveniently in this pedestal. Hmm. It's like, uh, what? Did this thing just talk to me? All right. Yes, plug it in my port. Yes, do it hard. Oh, yes, like that. <laughs> Thank you. Sheikah tower activated. That means something else in his language. <laughs> Please watch for falling rocks. <laughs> <laughs> a crying eyeball. The symbol of the Sheikah. Which I believe the tear is on there because of atrocities that the Hylians committed against the Sheikah long ago. I think. <laughs> there actually is lore behind all of it. Activate like every tower in the universe. 
Yeah, the whole world right now is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Activating Assassin's Creed Towers. <laughs> Activating Batman Towers. <laughs> oh, I fell on my keys. The Great Plateau Tower. I need that. St I need that thing that lets me fly. Well, hover. Well, glide. Distilling local information. Beep boop beep. Distilling it in the form of a tear. Which is very symbolic. This is very odd technology we have created. <laughs> I have just dew dropped on your Chica slate. You now need a new touch screen. <laughs> Do not run a black light over that. Regional map extracted. Ooh, yes, pull it out of my port. Oh, yes, just like that. Please don't be an old man standing behind me. Oh. Remember. Try, oh. Try to remember. That was not the robot. That was not the horny robot. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Fuck. If I were anybody in Hyrule, I'd just be like, now Yeah, we're moving. We're moving to Gotham. <laughs> must hurry, Link. Like if I just saw that flying Before over a castle, it's it's like late. Yeah, no, I'm 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 not gonna stay here. <laughs> That's what this land has to offer? Termino was maybe high in rent, but we didn't have that. <laughs> Alright. Is there a fast travel off this tower, i.e. water? <laughs> yes, but that, there's no way I can make that jump. That That's literally suicide. All right, I'm gonna try not to kill myself too quickly. I feel like that won't take fall damage. Right. Eh! Where's my health? There it is. <laughs> hmm. Maybe the bottom left might be better for my webcam. Well, farts. <laughs> like I'm basically a one hit right now. That's a, that's embarrassing. Link, it's embarrassing. Can I let go and then grab it? I don't remember. Yeah, there's only one way to know. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Whee! Yeah, not bad for a man of 105. My, my! It would seem we have quite the enigma here. <laughs> this tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. I'm sure it's displaced at least one or two people, and probably killed a couple with all of the craziness. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, are you plot-related? Are you a main character? Did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I, uh, well, I mean, I've been hearing voices. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. They're not telling me to kill or anything, but I mean, you know, they're kind of like prophetic and a little bit grandiose. Like, you know, you're going to save the universe. It's like, I don't know if that means I'm really arrogant or not, but apparently I'm the only one that can save the universe. Well, now, that was a lot of shit. A voice, you say? <laughs> and did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? It sounded hot. That's all I'll say. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. <laughs> I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. Oh, you mean the giant uh, smoke monster that looks like a, like a pig? That is Calamity Ganon. I don't know why we put the Calamity in front of it. It, made, it makes him sound... Kind of silly, actually. You know, Ganon would have just been 
pretty intimidating just by itself. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom to, of Hyrule to ruin, just like he did 600 times before that. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake, like all of the NPCs were killed. It was sad. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It will spew it all over all of our faces. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. <laughs> oh, that was a creepy head turn. All right, Palpatine. I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? Making my way? I do. I do. There's got to be a lot of good loot in there. Oh, I had a feeling you would say that, you fucking loot goblin. You care about nothing else but loot. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs. With no way down, except for suicide. <laughs> if you were to try to jump off, well, again, suicide. So no death could be more certain, or more foolish, unless that's your thing. I'm not here to judge. Ooh. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, wink, wink, that would be quite another story. Well, then hand it over. Now, paraglider? <laughs> oh, piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. I'm not one of those creepy bird people. I'm not an Aarakocra. Hmm. Worry not. Or, sorry, uh, <laughs> Rito. <laughs> Worry not. I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. You need to tickle the pickle a little bit. <laughs> Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? The isolated plateau. That's all you're going to tell me? Open adventure log. The isolated plateau. Old man. Come, let me show you something. Wink, wink. <laughs> Follow me very slowly. Don't mind the zipping sound you hear. Zip. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. Ah, the shrines. A massive source of content and entertainment. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Alright, old man. You're not being very subtle. And I like it. Alright, um, I, I may or may not be near death's door. So just keep that in mind. Alright. But other than that, I am cool as a cucumber. I may or may not literally be dying. Search. Screw! Uh, ba -da -ba -da -do, do -do -do. I love this game. Because I'm all about loot. I'm all about loot. And this game is also all about loot. <laughs> yeah, there's a kick ass story here and great combat, great fun, visually stunning, like just a fantastic open world. I missed the frog. Damn it. Another frog gonna run out? I would like to cook you! I've been on ice for a hundred years and I'm very, very hungry. That blue goo, I don't think it nourished me, so I think it just put me in suspended animation, so my stomach hasn't actually gotten food for a hundred years. That is really bad. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. If your stamina wheel runs out, you will not be able to make love to Zelda. Good to know. This is information that would have been helpful yesterday. Oh, wow. That's, that's, this feels like my life sometimes. Like the parable of Sisyphus. <laughs> Push the boulder up the hill. Ah, uh, yes, life. <laughs> this is the American dream right here. Push a boulder up the hill until you physically can't fucking do anything anymore. And then die of old age. That's the American dream.
to work until your back breaks, and then when you can't do anything anymore, that's when just you get shit. X. Is that DLC? Is that a DLC treasure chest? I'm trying to remember what the X. It means something. I got a ruby. Very nice. I don't remember what anything is used for. <laughs> I think a ruby can be used to upgrade certain things. God, I don't remember the X treasure chests. Like, at all. Oh, yes. Plug. Oh, you didn't plug into me. Oh, she gets light confirmed. Eh, I'll skip them after this, but the first one I'll watch. Travel gate registered to map. Beep boop beep. Access granted. Let me open my mouth to you. What is this? Oh, it's an elevator! There are no handrails! Who designed this? I'm going to call the union! There's gotta be a union in Zelda. There's an, the people get screwed so often, they need some kind of protection. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am a okay. <laughs> I am. The game is not friendly for people who like to do voices. All right, do drop. Teach me. Oh yes, oh yes, baby, just like that. Oh yes, oh yes. Chica's link late authenticated. Distilling rune. Oh, I am almost there. Yes, yes, just like that. Yes, and... Ooh. <laughs> was that good for you? It was good for me. Magnetus! Give me also the, uh, the amiibo one. Rune extracted. Alright, use the rune. Nice. And then you can swap out runes once you have them. Alright, let's see. Does this just create a tunnel? Oh, it does! Okay. <laughs> That's up. That's down. And then, okay, the D-pad. Push and pull. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about that go? There we go. Oh, yeah. It's like the game is hitting you with knowledge. God, I'm looking forward to playing this game so much. Although I'm farting around so much, like, <laughs> I gotta make sure I don't make that too much of a habit. Bloop. Can't I just barrel all these over? <laughs> I remember stuff! You have made me Magneto and your time is about to come to a close. I see that one guardian prick. Unfortunately, my health is very, very low. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, oop. Yeah! Yeah! I killed him without ever having to properly fight him. He didn't even know what happened. He's been waiting there for a hundred years. And then he just died. <laughs> WTF. Those were his last thoughts. Like, the, the hell? The fuck is this? Why did I just die? I've been training for, for 95 years! I only waited for five years before I eventually I got bored. Then I just started training. I started, like, playing with my nunchucks in my living room. Well, my mom's living room. Job. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 
Ooh, the creepy old mummy. <laughs> Oh yes, you have touched my eyeball, Goo. <laughs> you have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Omano, the creator of this trial. Hum diggity. I am a humble monk and blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia and dedicated to helping those who want to stop Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. Literally a hundred years of just sitting here with only my thoughts. In the name of Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Oh. Please accept this spirit orb. <laughs> Don't mind that it came out of my belly. Oh. Ukatoa? Symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. Oh. May the goddess smile upon you. I'm going on vacation in heaven. God. He just got fucking yoded. <laughs> why, why have you meditated for a hundred years of your existence? Just so I could ascend. So, did you do anything cool in life? I meditated. <laughs> oh! Who called me a hoe? Who the fuck said what? I only know one way to enter a room, and it's flying. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. Um, paraglider, please. <laughs> I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my courageous friend. Well, you can't get slower than frozen for a hundred years. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. It is all connected to that Wii U tablet that you carry on your hip there. Uh, paraglider, please. I have yet to finish speaking, you impatient little whelp. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. Courage. <laughs> but their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. I mean, damn, Nintendo knows how to make them. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places across all across this land. I'm thinking like maybe 120 places. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. That was never a condition of our arrangement. I have altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it further. <laughs> Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding the shrines. It's always best to survey the area from looking or by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Make him away. You joking? I just came down from that tower. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm afraid not, insolent child. But do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Shika slate. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. It just lets you bamf from point to point. It's kind of fucking crazy. Like, why have we not mass-produced these? I don't understand. I, I, I could really use one of those. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such, because I, of course, am not. I was not around when these things were in use. I'm not, I'm not an old ghost. Alright. <laughs> alright, alright. I mean, I'm... That's the shrine I was birthed in. <laughs> yes, birthed. A is that button. Oh, it's gonna take some getting used to. Ah! I'm disapparating! Ah! Bam! Oh, yeah. 
it'll double my damage. I have to try to remember to throw what weapons instead of just letting them explode. <laughs> you motherfucker. You motherfucker. You, you got a Wii U tablet? Ho ho ho. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. Do you fly here? Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> an ignorant child. <laughs> Humans can't fly. So you think an old man like me needs to fly to stay ahead of you? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I still have a few tricks left in me. Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate? I did. Uh, I've been using it to uh, snap pictures of my D <laughs> so I can send them to Z. Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. The pins on your map serve as reference for... you. Yeah, I think you got it. You can figure it out. Alright, does blue mean that the that's the one I did? I think so. I think I'm looking for red. Ooh. I have to lower the sensitivity on that. That is fast. Ah, there you go. Dose. Where's Trace? I'm not the uh, Star Wars character. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I see it. Oh my god, that is way too sensitive. That's what she said. Alright. Well, can you, uh, can you at least uh, fast travel me down there? Alright, old man. <laughs> I see you. Alright, anything's better than climbing down. <laughs> Climbing up is fine. Climbing up is fun. Climbing down, a little less so. I'd, I'd rather have the uh, paraglider. <laughs> Very much so. Perfect dodge. If you backslide or hop away from monsters attack at just the right moment, you'll be rewarded with a chance to fuck them up. Up the butt. Whoa, where did I just go? What does this mean about my existence? Like... Uh, Am I, when I'm converted down into energy, don't I cease to exist in that moment? And therefore, the per, the version of me that's re, re, re consolidated into solid matter, isn't that just a new entity? And the original version of me died? <laughs> Am I dying every time I fast travel? <laughs> what does this say about the soul? <laughs> ah Link, calm down. <laughs> You're overthinking things. Ah! Ah! Existential crisis! Existential crisis! Uh, leap. Oh, it's so much faster just to hop. I am gonna miss all my stamina, man. That's all I gotta say. I am going to miss my stamina. I think once I finally get the ability to start upgrading my shit, I'm gonna probably dump everything into stamina at first because... It just, the more stamina you have, the more you can just do everything. And it's nothing but a time saver. So, like, yeah, I'd rather just be able to do everything. Oh, 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 temperature. Okay. That is a thing. Right. Right. I have to, like, eat stuff or something. <laughs> All right. We are happy. We love our lives. We love being peaceful creatures. We love being peaceful creatures. Ah! Uh, he fucked Jimmy up the butt. Uh, uh, uh. Why? We were dancing. We were like sand people dancing around a fire. Oh no! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, well, my own fault. Oh, where's my last save? Does the game have an autosave? I don't think it does. Shit. 
Oh no, okay. Generous. The game does have an autosave. Alright, I just have to kill these three again. Hey Frank, do you, do you love that we're just peaceful nomads sitting by a fire? I love just living our peaceful lives, minding our own business, just cooking some meat, talking about the wife. You know, Diane, she's been such a bee. Ah! Oh, I didn't get the sneak attack. Alright. I wasn't fast enough because I was talking about Diane. <laughs> Nice try. Give me your goo. Thank you. I still feel really stupid. I just walked off the cliff. <laughs> Alright, hopefully there's somebody down there walking. <laughs> Honey, you know, isn't that such a beautiful... <laughs> ah! Ah! I need a hospital. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? A fucking barrel just fell down and hit me. What? It hit me at, like, terminal velocity. I, th I think I'm dying. What? I literally think I'm dying. Help me, please. Well, we don't have any hospitals because this is Hyrule. We don't really have anything. All right, let's see if I can sneak up on this butterfly. Ha ha ha! Fuck you. Let's see if I can sneak up on this innocent, beautiful creature just living its life. That's a no. Get fucking back here! I'll eat you raw, baby. I mean, you can. It's fucking gross. But you can. <laughs> yeah, I can do it too. Alright, so we can't go to that one yet because I need something to keep me warm. We can go to the other ones. God, that's a lot of towers. I'm seeing so many towers. And I vaguely remember a few things about this game. So one thing I want to do pretty early on in the game is I want to go to the Rito. And I want to do that temple. Or the, the flying bird. Because the power you get from him, from uh, Dick Bird... Uh, is, like, the most useful power in this game. Like, it it really offsets the lack of ability to climb early on. Oh, I think they see me. Hey! Ah! Deep! How do I dodge? Is that the only dodge? I... Hey. How you doing? I'm practicing something. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, fuck you. Ow! Ow! I'm still rolling. <laughs> Ooh, wrong button. I suck. I suck. I suck so much. There is too much pepper on my puppy cash. But I would be pleased to partake of your pecan pie. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, I know, right? Happy learned how to shoot. Uh-oh. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I think I'm just not remembering how to dodge or something. Like, like wasn't there a better way to dodge? Is that literally the dodge? Like, there's no dodge roll? Okay, well, we got the shield. Alright, alright. That's fine. That's fine. Just gotta remember. I will take that juicy meat. And I will take all of your body parts because I'm a fucking sociopath. Ah, the ability to cook. A big part of the game. Looks like I have not unlocked that power yet. But I have unlocked the power to just fucking eat. Uh. Uh. 
Where's my cooked? Ah, there it is. Uh, yeah, I'll have a seared steak, please. Alright, I guess I gotta go to that one first, because the other two towers require me to be warm. Alright, good to know. Good to know. Things I did not remember. I mean, this was a big game. There's a lot to remember. <laughs> There's a lot to remember. Fuck. And I am remembering there's so many different kinds of armor, too, that are actually all very important. Like, armor that makes you, like... Like, rubber armor that helps you against electricity. Cold armor, fire armor. Like, there's, like, armor for everything. Sneaky armor, which I remember I used a lot of. So I'm going to have to try to remember how to get all that. I want your goo! Downside about this game. Ow. One downside is the very first time you ever get anything. Wow, it didn't damage him? Alright. It's fair, I guess. Like, yeah, the very first time you ever get anything in this game, you have to sit through the, uh, like, here's what it is. Which is a good thing, but it's also annoying. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather the, the game do it than not, but it can get annoying. Now that it's nighttime, all the monsters come out. I'm a monster. And I just got the shaft. You get screwed and you get shafted by these things. Although occasionally you get sprung. I don't think you run into one that's active for a while. I think... I don't think you run into an active one. Okay, hang on. As I'm saying it. I don't believe I'm strong enough to... I mean, I could kill it, but it'd probably take, like, a fucking year. Alright, don't shoot me. <laughs> Hello! Yeah! I guess I have to hit you. Saving the sword. Oh, I, I can use the rusty sword. Yes. Give me all it. I can't carry any more melee weapons? Alright. Easy enough. Let's dump a torch. I'd rather have a boko club. It's just more powerful. Why wouldn't I rather have that? Alright, I see that beautiful treasure chest. I think it's an X chest. Which I want to say is only if you have the DLC. Nintendo Switch shirt! I don't remember that shirt existing. Oh, it's an expansion pass bonus. I do have an expansion pass. Um, a shirt with the Nintendo Switch logo on it. It's a rather rare find, so wear it with pride. <laughs> That is odd, but I love it. So let's let's equip that. It's just a Nintendo Switch shirt. What the fuck? That didn't exist the last time I played this game. <laughs> just, all right, that's unique. Yeah, I do have an expansion pass. Um, I was playing a lot of Pokemon Shield, and um, there is an element of. Uh, Multiplayer there with the uh, the raid battles. So, uh, yeah, I did buy it. Wrong button. Yeah, hopefully I get a good uh, screenshot of my me with my Nintendo Switch shirt. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's absolutely, utterly ridiculous. 
Sleeping in a bed allows you to sleep until morning, noon, or night. It also replenishes your hearts. Wish I knew what that felt like. <laughs> Alright, I need to find a place where I can get a good screenshot. Because I don't believe there's a photo mode in this game. That's not the right button. There we go. <laughs> if there is a photo mode... Let's see. Oh! Use amiibo. You can now use the amiibo rune with the Sheikah Slate. You can change the setting on the option screen. It, it, what? I thought I had to unlock it. Fuck you. All right. Cool. That's awesome. Uh. All right. I should have done this earlier. Oh, I can't use it down here. That's unfortunate. Okay. I'll use it when I get out of here. <laughs> Son of a beasting. I think you can only use an amiibo once a day. But you could potentially get some good stuff from it. Like weapons, armor, uh, Epona. I think you can actually get Epona. Um, oh, I'm gonna goo all over you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna goo. I'm gonna goo. Goo all over my slate. Oh. <laughs> Again, not safe for work. And not kid friendly, my streams. Ooh, ah, ba, 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 bombs! Rune extracted. You are now a domestic terrorist. Fucking Nintendo shirt. It's ridiculous. Okay, hang on. I want to Google something really quick. <laughs> I'm going to type in Breath of the Wild photo mode. And I'm going to see if there is... Okay, Link can obtain a camera. I don't remember the camera. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm assuming he can take selfies with the camera. Oh, that's vaguely familiar. Okay, okay. That's vaguely, vaguely familiar. It's been a few years. It's been about five years, I think, since I played this game. <laughs> Which is crazy to think about, because I remember, I remember it being new like it was yesterday. Oh, I actually have to detonate. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Very cool. Very cool. Cooler than school. Bombs? Gotta be careful. You can kill yourself. I do remember that. Ooh. Claymore. I love that the chest is just like... Now you don't got room. <laughs> oh, right. I'm forgetting buttons because I'm a dumbass. Uh, fuck it. When am I ever going to use a torch? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I also don't want that equipped right now. Let's equip you. Save the good stuff for, like, bigger enemies. And just keep on the janky shit for basic shit. Uh, there we go. Let's see, place A. Okay. Yeah. 
Legend of Zelda, always look behind you because there might be a hole with a treasure chest. You never know. Now here is where we're going to teach you many game mechanics you will use throughout the entirety of this game. Although for these ones, circular bombs are probably the way to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Don't oh. Well, I got the ball. Now I need to get the other thing. Which I assume it has to go somewhere over there. But first, let's go get that chest. We launch me, baby. Warp me. My favorite catchphrase in Star Trek. <laughs> Warp me. A Starfleet captain that knows that she needs a catchphrase. And so she comes up with Warp me. I love it. Like a running gag turned into a real thing. And I love it. Man, I really highly recommend uh, Star Trek Lower Decks to anybody who's never seen it. Like, it's... I'm a, I, I love Star Trek, and there's a lot of people that love it and think that, like, it spits in the face of Star Trek. No, they're just having fun, but they're also paying a lot of respect to Star Trek while also making, making fucking crazy fun of it. Okay, apparently I can't make that jump. All right, how far do I throw you? It made it! Do 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 do. Come on, come on. You gotta give me that payoff. Warp me. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> that was utterly disappointing. All right. Well, this has to do something, right? Otherwise, why the why the fork is it here? Okay, wait a minute. Is that just showing that you can launch shit and that's why it's there? Normally these unlock cool things. Huh. Alright. I guess it doesn't do anything. It's just here to show you that you can launch balls with the obvious giant... Okay, well, you're coming with me anyway. You're mine now. I'm taking this home. I'm, I'm putting it on my, I'm putting it on my, my, my dresser. All right, you're going to stay right here. Damn it. Damn it. All right, eyeball. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this orb. We need a hero. But that Nintendo Switch shirt, it's so stupid. Spirit Orb! May the goddess smile upon you. Oh, right, when I get out of here. It's po it's, I'm probably going to get fuck all garbage, but there's a chance you can get some good stuff. I think... I could be wrong about this. No, no, I don't think the Fierce Deity armor is in any of these. Uh, I know there are some unique weapons. Like, um... The, um... The Boomerang from Wind Waker, I think. Or, is it from Wind Waker? It's from something. Oh, well, in any case. Amiibos! Uh, there we go.
Well, all right. Oh, okay. Touch an amiibo to the NFC touch point. Well, mine just has a sticker that says DK. Will that work? <laughs> I'm not using a Switch Pro controller, so that is unfortunate. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I wasn't going to use the Joy-Cons like this. Although this is how I played the game entirely the first time. The main reason I'm not using it like this is because as you, um, my character just started walking forward. I didn't do that. I have Joy-Con drift uh, pretty hard on my left Joy-Con, so the character often sometimes just does stuff on his own. See, I'm not doing that. Not touching either one. Um... Yeah, so that's I decided I'm going to use the controller for that. Um, I try to avoid the Joy-Cons, actually, wherever possible. Uh, okay, yeah, I thought it was that controller. Oh, oh, hey, look at that. All right, give me all that juicy loot. Stamella Mushroom. Iron Shroom. Oh, I forgot about all these. <laughs> Silent Shroom! Rush Room! Zap Shroom! I forgot about all that. Alright, give me something good, baby. Stop moving away from it on your own. The Fierce Deity Mask! What? Alright. Gives me attack up. Right out of the gate, I got the Fierce Deity Mask. I was wondering, do, do you get that from an amiibo, or is that just a find you can get in the world? Legends say this mask was once worn by a hero from a world in which the moon threatened to fall. It looks scary, but wearing it offers fierce godlike power. Hell yeah. I'm very okay with that. That's maybe the best get I could have gotten. Uh, you know, given circumstances. Oh my god, that's not me doing that at all. All right, I wanted to see if you could use it twice in a row. <laughs> Love the sound of the the plopping. All right. Hyrule herbs, you'll find a hundred million of those. Saflina, you'll find a hundred million mighty thistles. Luminous stone, early on useful, but you'll definitely find a million of those. Armoranth. <laughs> Swift carrot and Hyrule herb. All right, I think those are the only two amiibos I have that can be used like this. <laughs> that fucking Nintendo Switch shirt is killing me. Hang on, turn around. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm going to check something really quick. BRB. Ah. Oh, standing up hurts so much. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. 
Let's see. Because I don't have them on display. I have a wedding Bowser. I have a Smash Up Brothers Squirtle. I don't know why I said that like Mario still. It made sense with Bowser. Uh, here's the box for Majora's Mask Link. Let's see, what do I got? I got the Pikachu! A Pika Pika! Again, I don't know why I'm a Mario right now. A Mario. Alright, did I open any of you? It doesn't look like I opened any of my champion amiibos. Do you get good shit from these? Let's see. I'm sure you do. It's one of the incentives for getting them. Alright, you could get the, like, Goron Claymore from... From Daruk. You can get, like, Gerudo Swords and Armor, or Swords and Shields. From Urbosa. So you can get the Zora Spear from Mifa. And you can get one of the really cool bows from Dick Bird. <laughs> also known as Rivali. I do like Rivali. Like, I call him Dick Bird, but... He's not a bad character at all. Actually... Easily my favorite thing about this Zelda game. Uh, they made like, genuine characters that, like, I cared about them. Like, they had great dialogue, they had great story. Alright. I should probably just open these. <laughs> Silly that I haven't. But I guess I just really didn't want to... Yeah, I guess I just really didn't want to. Yes, fuck it. Trying to be gentle though because I want to maintain the box. So if I ever need to put them back in there for like moving or whatnot or transportation, then it'll be relatively simple. complicated than I feel like it should have been. Alright. Alright. Mifa. Who is a really sweet character. Like a really, really sweet character. Uh... Oh, that's the wrong controller. <laughs> Chilfin Trout, Hyrule Baz, Staminoka Baz, Mighty Porgy, Stelfin Trout, Hardy Salmon, some great fish. And it makes sense that you would get fish from Azora. Traveler's Spear. I mean, it's Ah, oh, my inventory's full. It's like, nope. Alright. I can get rid of something for that. Let's see. Uh, I can get rid of the Boko Spear. It's, it's, oh, nope, no, I want to keep that. Kick. Oh, yeah. Alright. All right, Mifa, welcome to the fam. Yeah, without meaning to, this I guess is now like a little mini unboxing stream. <laughs> it's not my intention. Hmm. Alright. Did you 
back in there. Please and thank you. There. Box is relatively undamaged. Perfect for future storage. <laughs> Alright, dick bird. You're next. I really do like Rivali. Like, I don't know. I, Daruk is my favorite, but I think Daruk was like everybody's favorite. Urbosa is probably the most solidly badass. Uh, Mifa is probably the most inherently, like, charming. Dickbird is a good guy. He just takes a while to kind of show that he's a good guy. <laughs> he just hates Link so much at first. Like, he's bitter. <laughs> Which is not a flattering color on him. Uh, bitter. Rivali's not bitter. But I've seen better days. Holy shit, these are in here. <laughs> I haven't opened Amiibos in a long time. Holy crap, they don't play around. <laughs> Thank you, Rivali. <laughs> yeah, Rivali, from a character design standpoint, is probably my favorite guardian. Like, from a character design standpoint, he just looks so good. Daruk is up there. They're, they all look great, but... Rivali just looks so good. All right. Probably put those away. Squirtle, Bowser, Pikachu, I don't remember where I got some of these, but like, I know I got them super cheap. Not, like, ridiculously cheap or anything, but, like, I definitely found them cheaper than normal. Oh, the Guardian ones I remember. I found them online when they first announced that these things were coming out at all. And they had a bundle deal where if you get all four, you're getting them for, like, half price. And so I got all four. All right, arrows. Oh, wild berries. Chickaloo tree nut. Acorn. Wild berry. Alright, give me a bow. Traveler's bow. Attack up plus five. Ooh, I'm starting off this game with a bit of an advantage. Alright. Thank you, Rivali. <laughs> Next amiibo. Mifa. No, Urbosa. I already opened Mifa. Urbosa. Oh, these are really not easy to open. Oh my god. These are made for kids. <laughs> I mean, come on. You gotta be like Grog to open these. Come on. All right. Herbosa. Neat. 
I'm hoping I get that uh, shield. That shield is gorgeous. <laughs> the game is probably just like, the fuck, man? Play the game. The game doesn't realize I never opened most of my amiibos. Yes. That was a lot of meat. Raw bird drumstick. I'm sure Dick Bird would not like that. Raw meat, bird drumstick, just a lot of meat. Traveler sword. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Not what I was hoping it would be, raw bird thigh. Again, Rivali is probably very offended by that. Uh, Traveler sword. So I can get rid of... I mean, the rusty broadsword, it's strong, but it's rusty, so I remember it also breaks really fast. Goodbye. It's a terrible throw. Plus, this one has durability up, so it'll last even longer. Which is not a bad thing. Alright. Last amiibo to open, anyway. Daruk. Easily my favorite character in Breath of the Wild. Princess Zelda would be my second favorite character. I don't actually own her amiibo. Uh, Princess Zelda, though, she was just so full of life. Like, in all the flashbacks, like, she was a scientist at heart, and I love that. They made her a bit more relatable as a character, I think, in this game. Oh, Daruk, you're a beast. Oh, God, I just... I yeah, I think besides not wanting to hurt the boxes, I was just lazy. And I never opened these. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. There we go. Daruk. Who has, like, the best smile in history. Like, Daruk is the man. All right, last amiibo, because <laughs> I don't own any other amiibos. You've actually, on this recording now, I've shown every single amiibo I own. I should see if I can find a good, cheap um, uh, Breath of the Wild Zelda one, because I loved her design and I loved her character. She's a very likable character. A topaz. Of course you would get rocks from him. That makes so much sense. I love that it makes sense. Yep. All right, come on, give me that big, not what I was looking for, but that is strong. Uh, I will happily take that. Uh, that is very strong. I have two traveler swords. I The woodcutter ax has its uses. Like it's real good for when you just need to cut down a tree. I could probably get rid of the Bokoblin arm. <laughs> I love saying it like that. <laughs> Fucking fee in um in Skyward Sword. There are more Bokoblins. <laughs> Travelers Claymore. Yes, please. All right. All right. I've spent more than enough time just going through shit. <laughs> Keep janky busted stuff on my person for the time being. Ooh, I love looking at all these amiibos now. Gorgeous. I've always meant to take them out and do something with them. I've just never done it. God, that Bokoblin arm is better than this. Fuck it, I'm gonna take the Bokoblin arm. <laughs> Beat somebody with a severed skeleton arm. All right, that was a bit of a... I acknowledge, that was a bit of a detour. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect to be doing anything unboxing. Ah, there you are. Back to the controller controller. Alright, there we go. Just because this controller doesn't have any drift issues. So thank you very much. And it's wired. Which uh, really helps even further with the uh, drift issues. Alright, back to the game. <laughs> At least every day now I play this game, I can uh, activate some amiibos and get some stuff. 
Oh, wrong button. Uh, you don't see me. You don't see me. Alright. I think you go this way. To, uh, find the old man and he teaches you about, like, cooking stuff that lets you survive. Holy crap. Alright, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm not strong enough to fight those. The first time I ever played this game, I think I did stand my ground. And I don't think it worked that well. <laughs> if memory serves, it didn't work out great. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Destiny! Ooh. Whenever you hear an owl in a Zelda game, it's probably something Destiny related going on. Usually. Ooh, ooh. All right, we got another fire over here, so I feel like maybe the old man is going to teach me how to cook. Oh, no, you're just people. Hey. Ah, yeah, right? Stings. Taking all your shit. <laughs> Ooh, can I just grab that? Ah! <laughs> There we go. Courser bee honey. Any other good shit? I'm gonna sit by the fire. Ah, no, no, put that away. My sword caught on fire, son of a bitch. Hmm, I missed the throw a little bit. Oh, there's a recharge. Guess that's the price you pay for infinite bombs. Ooh. The early game stuff is just, it's, it's always important. You gotta get a surplus of stuff. Can you blow up trees? Hey, you can! Neat! So I could have thrown away that woodcutter's axe. That's good. To know. Yep. Yoink. Alright, I swear there was like some spot down here where you run into the old man, you have to cut down a tree, and then he teaches you like how to cook food that lets you survive better in the cold. Or something along those lines. Nope. Man, that's gonna be... That's gonna be hard to not do. Uh, this button in certain games is run, and I've been playing a lot of different games lately, so I keep hitting that button to run, and I keep summoning bombs. It would probably be more advantageous for me to switch to something that doesn't, that just has a cancel button. Farmer's pitchfork. Neat. That's, that's, uh, huh. Alright, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Give me that pitchfork. Yes! I think this is the old man's hut. Which means I'm taking everything. <laughs> the old man's diary. He even wrote that. <laughs> the old man's diary. Yes, I'll read. On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. Well, cooking and baiting, of course. Yeah. Uh, and today I outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. This recipe not only restores health, but it also keeps me warm, even when traveling in the snowy mountains. With this dish on my side, I no longer have need of that itchy, warm doublé. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down a very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper, however. I simply cannot remember what else I used. My age is catching up to me. <laughs> Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I have only my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Still, if I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublé. However, it seems unlikely that such a miraculous wish will ever be fulfilled. Alright, so spicy pepper. Oh, you were in here? Spicy pepper. <laughs> You just watched me read your diary? 
I can't carry any more shields. Well, the pot lid is garbage anyway, so. Yo, dude. I know I need to go back and uh, loot. I can't catch up to you, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, let's go loot your house real quick. God, this guy loves his spicy peppers. Yeah, no judgment. Baked apples, the mella. Under my stomach, mella, mella, mella. So it was spicy pepper and what was the other ingredient? <laughs> Raw meat and a spicy pepper, and then it needs like a third thing. Okay. All right. Have I have not been taught how to cook yet? I don't think. And if Yeah, it doesn't look like I can cook yet. Okay. Like, I have plenty of ingredients. I can just try. Hylian Shroom is probably the third ingredient, knowing this game. But yeah, I don't remember. And we all sit around the fire. We feel so much better now. Nice. Hiya! Ho oh, ho ho! Fancy that! So we meet again. What you doing? I thought this tree here might make for some good firewood. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want is quite an art. The trick is to turn your hips so that they face where you want that tree to land. Ooh. All right. Well, I threw away my axe, so. <laughs> Use a traveler's sword. I know there's an axe in his house, but I don't want to run back. Boo ya, murder! Alright. Be careful. Don't walk to my death. Yeah. Ooh, there are two bokoblins. I missed it. All right, come and get me. Come and get me. Ow. I don't want to hit you off that cliff because then I can't loot your body. All right, that's fine. No, no, not important enough treasure. All right, gotta get that treasure. Fire, there are fire arrows, okay. You can change arrows quickly. Ah, all right. Good to know. And that's how you change the bow. Also good to know. All right. God, it just feels right having a proper sword. Ooh, that is way too high to climb. Okay, not climbing that. Holy balls. Is there a path? Eh, maybe it's not too high to climb if I get to those ledges. Let's see. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. I am the coolest person in the world. I can free climb anything except for smooth surfaces. Do 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 do. 
long as it's rough, my manly hands can climb it. Yeah, this has to be the right path. <laughs> Though I'm, like, a little annoyed he hasn't taught me how to cook yet. <laughs> Ooh, I could get cocky and go for it, but I'm not going to. <sighs> Leap. <laughs> that is impatience. <sighs> Where's the next ledge? All right. I could probably make that, but I don't know. Yeah. It's like I'm in the beginning of Mission Impossible 2. Just free climbing for no reason other than to look like a badass. Why did you climb that? It makes me feel alive. Yeah, but why? What'd you get out of it? It makes me feel alive. <laughs> Wasn't that, like, unnecessarily risky? Okay, stop crouching. What the hell's wrong with you? There we go. Uh, Alright, I guess we're going all the way up. Because I'm not seeing another ledge. I hope I can make it. Do to do. Do to do. This is why you need to upgrade stamina early. Because it really makes a difference. And also, if you do the bird first, you get the ability to jump really fucking high. Which saves you a lot of trouble when you climb. Alright, when I get close, I need to hit the X button. Right now. Oh. I hear you, bud. Oh, it was exhausting just watching you do that. <laughs> Can I blow up that rock? No. Oh, wait a minute. Are you magnetic? Are you... Do you have ferrous materials in you? That is a no. Sad. Alright. Whatever. I didn't want to fucking open you anyway. <laughs> I didn't want that treasure chest. You think I wanted that treasure chest? I want that treasure chest. God, I'm taking a long ass time doing these tutorial shrines because I fucked around with amiibos. They're gorgeous. This one in particular is like, it, this one feels sturdy. Like, this amiibo feels like it could survive like a hit. Hopefully, it would never take a hit. To who uh, I am Owadaim, in the name of the goddess Ilea, I offer this trial. Stasis trial. Mm. Plug into my port so I can goo all over you. Boop, 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 boop. Initiating goo process. Do 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 Distilling rune. Do 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 You have just been good. Stasis. A really cool fucking power. I think stasis can work on bad guys too, and then it lets you build up the momentum on them, or like the kinetic energy. I think it works on actual enemies. At least, maybe smaller enemies. I vaguely remember hitting a bunch of dudes. And just... Like, I don't know. There we go. Boom, baby! What else you got? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, the power has not recharged. Well. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I don't want to waste my sword yet hitting it, so. Oh, oh God, my back. <laughs> I didn't have the power recharged. It backfired on me so hard. Hmm. Man, I don't want to waste the sword hitting on it. 
Because it just destroys weapons sometimes. Like, that's like all it does. Oh yeah! Didn't have to waste one. Traveler's shield! But your inventory's full. Get the fuck out of here. I'll get rid of that. How do you throw a shield? No, don't throw that. How do you dump a shield? Uh, there we go. Shields. I better dump it like that. Nope. Mm. That's, again, the wrong button. Drop. <laughs> Literally dropped it off the cliff. Yeah, I'll happily take a sturdier shield. Why the hell not? Alright, hopefully I can make this. Don't let it kill me! How did get... The Jedi are trying to take off! Oh, for Sledge. Yeah. Alright, what can I toss? God, I need to upgrade my inventory hard. Eh, let's get rid of the Boko Club. Those are a dime a dozen. Yeah! Plus a sledgehammer, you kind of need them for uh, the stasis bit. I just remembered you could do that! <laughs> you could hold the button to do like a bigger attack. Oh yeah! I 100% forgot you could do that until just, just now. Alright. Always check behind the shrines, because sometimes there's hidden stuff. <gasps> and I almost killed myself for no reason. Put your finger in the shield. Or in the, in the eye. I mean, it's a shield. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. I don't know why he's an Elcor. In the name of Goddess Hylia. I bestow upon you this spirit orb. <laughs> With happiness. Leave. <gasps> oh. did, did I just come in my pants? <laughs> that is your business, not mine. Be at peace. <laughs> oh. I love all of my amiibos. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to use them every day. Even on days where I don't play, I'll just load into the game just to get stuff. Because why not? Why not? Alright. The only one left is the one where I need cold. Oh, boy, do I really have to climb down? No, no, I don't. Never mind, I can fucking teleport. What am I, an idiot? Uh... There we go. Heartbreakingly, I cannot just fast travel to that. But I can fast travel to that. Nope. I need to learn how to cook, because I guarantee I have the ingredients. I need him to teach me how to cook, because apparently the game won't let me. And I don't think you can cook without a pot. It's like, I don't think you can just reach into your pockets and cook stuff with, like, the heat of your breath in your butt cheeks. But maybe I'm wrong, baby. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck do I know? I don't know. I don't know shit. I guess I've already searched you. Ah! Hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Immediate death. <laughs> That seems about right. That's about right. Immediate death. Uh, I forgot it was how fast they fire. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, all right. Fuck. His house is right there. He wouldn't teach me before. There's some water. I need your stupid... Uh, 
paraglider. Asshole. All right. Fucker. Won't just give it to you. <laughs> Fucker. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You can slide with the, the shield. I really forgot about a lot of things. It's actually a very fun thing to do with shield sliding. All right. Don't run into immediate death, please and thank you. Ah, no, no, that's not at all what I meant to do. <laughs> I was trying to run around that, not right over it to the point where I'm just an easier target. That's amusing, but it's not a good idea. Good lord. Good lord. Alright, T-800, leave me alone. Fucking Reapers. I didn't know Zelda had Reapers. A label given by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, it matters not what they called them. They simply are. You gotta say it like that, too. We simply are. Alright, did I go through those ruins? I feel like I did. Alright, teach me how to cook. Or basically just unlock the ability for me to fucking put ingredients in a pot. Hey, that guy's back to life. Where are you, asshole? Looking at you, you sack of shit. How do you cook? Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, I think I know how you cook. I think you have to have the ingredients in your hand. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Get out of that real quick. Stand close to the fire. Alright, I think I remember how to cook. Uh, it was meat. It was spicy pepper. Let's use two spicy peppers. And you know what? Let's use an apple and a mushroom. <laughs> uh, cook. Ah, okay. Spicy simmered fruit. Cold protection for six minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, I don't think that's what he wanted me to cook. But, uh, isn't that good enough for me to have the doublé? Hang on. That way I wouldn't even need to worry about the food. It'd just be a nice thing to have if I needed it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Spicy meat and seafood fry. Spicy meat and seafood. Well, if seafood would would theoretically require fish. Um. Okay, so raw meat, spicy pepper, spicy pepper. I have plenty of fish. Boost your heat resistance. Let's just use a high roll bass. Keep it simple. Uh, kiss. K I S S. Keep it simple, stupid. Uh, high roll bass. And then for the fifth thing, I mean, apple for flavor. I love that it says skip. It's like, no! That's so adorable. Spicy simmered fruit. It's the exact same dish. I used a fish. Alright, maybe don't put the apple in it this time. 
Son of a bitch. Uh, raw meat. Spicy pepper, spicy pepper. Let's use three spicy peppers. And then let's use my last Hyrule bass. No, f no, I think the, the fruit is what's changing it to something else. <laughs> Spicy meat and seafood fry. Eight minutes and 30 seconds, plus a bunch of hearts. All right, I remembered. Hey, I need your double, so I don't, I don't, so that was pointless. <laughs> Give me your double, I remember the recipe. What are you doing? Mine are starting to ache. Hey, I fit. I, I made your thing. Does he only come back at night? It's possible. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, I have nothing on my head, so there's no reason for me not to wear this. It just gives me more armor and makes me stronger. It gives you focus. Makes you strong. Oh, it's also creepy as fuck. Alright. We're sitting until nighttime. I think he'll be home at night. It makes sense. Which I think is only 15 minutes, because I think 6 p.m. in this game counts as nighttime. 9 p.m., okay. Hey, yo, I remembered how to make your thing. Hmm. Wait, is that? That looks just like my signature perfect dish. Spicy meat and seafood fry. Mm. But how did you? Well, I suppose that is not important. Can I trouble you to share the recipe? Yes, I added a fish. Oh, of course, Hyrule Bass. How could I have forgotten? Well done. Now please allow me to reward your culinary efforts with this warm double. Yee, cold resistance, baby. Yeah, yeah. Mm. With that, you will be able to resist the bite of colder environments. As for me, I know a great spicy meat and seafood fry recipe, so I can do without the warm double. Oof. Very nice. I'm going to miss the Nintendo Switch shirt. I can always put it back on. Uh, let's take a screenshot, though. Yeah. Nope, that didn't work at all. The way that I wanted. I wanted to get a good shot of him, like... Kicking ass with the hammer. But that works too. Okay. Woohoo! Alright, so now that I've got the warm double. Uh, boop. Alright. I've got cold resistance. And I want to say fast traveling here would be way better. Because then I can just go this way. I think there's a thing I could do there that just lets me get there. Ooh, once you get off this plateau, then the game genuinely unlocks. And you can just do. <laughs> you can just do. Which is the beauty of an open world game. It's kind of the point. Sometimes you just need to get past the tutorial. And this is effectively the tutorial. I'm just an idiot, and I'm taking way longer than I should be because of stuff. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> it's so entertaining to me that I'm starting the great the game with the fierce deity mask. Like, that's just very powerful. Early on, like, because all my hits now are going to be stronger. So, anything I find early in the game is going to be no challenge at all. All right, always take the shrooms. There's no limit to how much shit you can carry. There's only a limit to like weapons and. And shields and bows, like that kind of stuff. But there's no limit to, I think, any of the ingredients. I think you can just carry. Like, forever. Which is good, because just stockpile. Because you'll you'll eventually need it. Oh, that's right! Everything you kill stays dead up until, like, the blood moon, right? And then everything comes back to life because Ganon... <laughs> that sounds right. Oh, I'm remembering so much about this game. Hello! Ah. You know what? Screw you. I don't need to kill you. Not yet. 
Are there any high knocks on this island? I don't think there are. I'd love to fight something big. Yeah. Oh, is that a chest? Fuck, I gotta go over there. Are you alone? I think you're alone. Hey. God, the uh, aiming is way too sensitive. It took a long time. <laughs> I need to, I really do need to actually refine that. Um, no, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go for the pitchfork. Oh! Papa's got reach! Papa's got reach! I'm in trouble! Papa's got reach! I got a pitchfork! And I'm losing my mind! Really? Fire, fire. Hey. Oh! Oh! They just died. <laughs> they just died. Alright, I can't carry any more bows. That's fine. Like, I'm barely even using bows. Ooh, I do need to adjust the sensitivity. I should just do that. I definitely want the Boko shield, though. Um, nope. There we go. Oh, right. I have to uh, actually throw. I can't toss a shield. Uh. Oh. Everything I have is a Boko shield. Alright. Good to know. <laughs> Never mind. Not picking up the Boko shield. Hmm. Stuff. Oh, give me that one arrow. Yeah. Stuff. Always got to blow up in the crates because there's stuff in everything in this game. <laughs> Oof. The adventure begins. Well, almost. Not quite there. The adventure has not begun yet. It was not always beside you. Aw, <laughs> only blew up one. Ooh! Hey! Cool. Why not? Nothing else, though? What are you? I mean, I will take that. I will take it. Stuff is stuff. Ah! Uh, there we go. This pitchfork. I would love to just take on Ganon with nothing but a pitchfork. Ooh! There's a treasure chest on that. Uh, there's no way I have enough stamina to climb all that, is there? There's only one way to know for sure. Maybe? Oh, fuck off. Fuck off! Fuck you! Give me that bokoblin arm! Fuckers! Give me that other bokoblin arm! I can't. But I, I hit with this one, so... Fuck you. I'll take that. Wow, those break really fast. Good to keep that in mind. Alright, let's try climbing this shit again. Motherfucker. <laughs> Feel like I can make it. Although, getting down will be tricky. <laughs> 
because I don't have the fucking glider. Oh yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'll make it. Ain't nothing but a thank. Impatience. All of that for five arrows. Alright, don't let go until I'm not on the incline. Alright, there we go. Let's go kill these motherfuckers! Yeah! There's a blue boy. I think they are more powerful. It makes sense. Ooh, I want that frog. You are mine forever. You are mine. Crouch. How do I get up there? Well, I mean... Are they fucking up there? What's that noise? Oh, yes. Like that. Unfortunate. How do I get up there? Can I not get up there until I can spring jump? Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get up there yet. Oh, I see how I can get up there. That's not the right button. Uh, there we go. There we go. Easy as pie. Knock, knock. <laughs> Your bokoblin arm has broken. Stay down. Last chance. I can do this all day. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Yes, that was the Bokoblin, uh, <laughs> that was the Bokoblin Captain America. I could do this all day. I can do this all day. Save the city, help us win. Save us all from the state we're in. I know it's rough. But you got to hear them say... I can do this all day. Never gets old. Ooh. That is a better shield than every shield I have. I think combined. I will toss you. Get the fuck out of here. Yee. Staff. Give me staff, staff me. Whee. Oh, feels so good to play games like this. Th these are my kind of games. All right, where's the? There it is. Captain America's cool and Thor is a god. Ooh, what? Just randomly, there's a soldier's broadsword on the ground. Okay. Oh, I guess uh, Captain America must have dropped that. That makes sense. So if he had hit me, ooh. Ooh, I would have been hurting. All right, we got a metal door. Good to remember. We got a couple of screw boys over here. Ancient screw, speak of the devil. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's almost Sammy time. Oh, 
I can't walk off of this? There we go. Wait, come on. Come on, man. Wee. Yeah. I'm the best, the very best. Like no one ever wants. The catch damn is my real test. To fuck you up with my magic powers is my cause. Telekinesis. I mean, it's ferrokinesis, but I mean, you know. Basically, it's telekinesis. <laughs> I will travel across the land, climbing far and wide. Each Ganon Mon to understand the power that's inside. Ganon's a bitch. Oh, it's you and me. You know he's a bitch, you see. Bitchy Mon. Oh, his name's Ganon. He's a loser, don't you see? <laughs> Alright, that looks like a thing. Is there something in there? There's only one way to know. Uh, there we go. Ah, uh, well. Well. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Korok. Korok seed. Here's a piece of poop. Bye -bye. All right. Went through four of my five. No, did I go through all of my fire arrows? No, I have one more fire arrow. So I went through four of my damn fire arrows. That's heartbreaking. Cause I don't even know how to like. Can you craft those? I don't think you can craft them. I think you have. They have to be a special drop. You can't climb snow, just climb snow. I don't care if the science doesn't make sense, you climb that snow. You think I give a shit about the science? I mean, I am a scientist at heart. So, I, in my heart I care about the science. Just, you know, um, it's, it's a very different show, but I've been watching um, Star Trek Prodigy. And in spite of some, like, I mean, it's not bad. It's, I mean, it's not like a must watch or anything, but it's not bad. But uh, they, they definitely leaned into the, uh, like, we're scientists in the last couple of episodes. And I, I dig that. I like that. They're showing how cool science can be. Bomb arrows. Those are the fucking greatest thing ever. So that's a find. Uh, can I make that jump? Let's find out. Oh, yeah. oh, my stamina. Oh, boy. Right. Running cost stamina. I think I'm fine. Whew. Ke na moot. Ke. Okay. Ke, thanks. All right. Ke na moot. Ke na moot. I am here to goo all over you with my tablet of awesome. Damn it. Fierce deity is here to fuck you up. I love that my first amiibo, it's just like, oh, here's the fierce deity mask. It's like, okay. <laughs> I'm just stronger now. And I know things now, many wonderful things that I never knew before. <laughs> Fuck, why does it always go back to that damn musical? Oh yes, oh yes, working on disseminating information sperm. Sperm, building, 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 building. <laughs> That's the sound I like to imagine. Cry on us, create a pillar of ice from a water surface. You're damn right. 
All right, now I've got ice powers. <laughs> this is magic powers. And he can climb ice. Isn't that like the most slippery surface there is? He can't climb these walls, but he can just climb vertical ice. Sure. Why not? Uh, boop. Yay for physics. Half-life taught me much. Half-life taught me everything, everything, everything. Half-life taught me everything. Hmm. I can't get a sneak attack. All right. Yeah! You dead! Do these ever break or can I shatter them? I can shatter them. Okay, good to know. Uh, that's not a thing I can do anything with. Do, 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 do. Looking for secrets. Because everything in this game has secrets. Because it's Zelda. Yeah. Oh, right, can't I just stand somewhere and place the uh, the block? It's a time saver if I, if, if I remember correctly. Traveler's Spear, that's janky garbage, I don't need it. Good to know, though. All right, let's test that real quick. Ooh, that's a time saver. Oh, yeah, we're going to be doing that. Ba -ba 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 -da. Okay. Uh, that puts that up. No, I want to go that way first. Oh, not that it matters. They're both the exact same. Okay, cool beans. Already gotten that treasure chest. Oh, it's cool to me that people can miss that somehow, and then they're just walking up here and they're like, What? There's a treasure chest? Ooh, speaking of which, um. Okay, that doesn't work on those treasure chests. I know there are some treasure chests you can fare Kinesis, which is pretty cool. Wrong button. In this game, they call it Magnesis, but more accurately, it would be Ferrokinesis. And I wish they called it that, because it's it's the more accurate way of depicting it. It's ferrokinesis. It's literally the control of metal. All right, no cool hidden stuff behind it. I want to say there are treasure chests behind some of them. All right. Poke the eye. That's what I imagine. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Relieved concern, in the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this orb from my 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 sack. May it may it may it keep you warm, where all other places will be cold. <laughs> it's like I'm more powerful now than I was before. It's like I'm. May the goddess smile upon you. <laughs> False concern. May the goddess <laughs> smile upon you. Cry on ass. Aim at your feet to create a pillar directly beneath you. I know things now, many wonderful things that I never knew before. Ho! Ho! Stop calling me a ho. You're the ho. Fo show. <laughs> With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 extraordinary! <laughs> that means it is finally time. Link, how do you know my name? It is finally time for me to tell you everything, but first, 
you must go back to that first place you went to. Mm. Imagine an X on your map with the four spot shrine with the four shrines at the is the endpoints. Find the spot where these lines intersect. I'm gonna guess it's the Temple of Time. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where two lines connect the shrines would cross. Wow, they're really holding your hand there. <laughs> like, okay, I get it. Um, well, that's all well and good. I want to kill some Bokoblins. Bokoblins. We are happy. We love life. We are happy. We love life. Ow, fucker. God, how do you, like, can you dodge? I don't remember. Like, do you have to just go side to side? Hmm. I might be just remembering how to fight properly. Or forgetting how to fight properly. I don't know. Because I feel like combat is way more streamlined than that. And I'm just missing it. Man, I know that you can jump backwards, side to side, you can leap at them. Hmm. All right, I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, well, I killed the bokoblins. Uh, boo boo boo. All right, where they intersect. X. X. Oh no, it's the Temple of Time! What? You crazy! No! Never would have foreseen that. It has been forsaken. Ooh! While I fast travel, uh, it's Sammy time, so I'm gonna take a break. BRB. I take my Sammy time very seriously. <laughs> thing do do because this will just bug me on principle alone boop boop there we go <laughs> you gotta pimp that nintendo love there we go <laughs> and a little bit not has not finished cooking. And by cooking, you mean smoking. But I'm not cooking shit. The toaster is. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. There are giants in the sky. There are big, tall, terrible giants in the sky. 
way up high and you look below at the world you left and things you know but a boy in the glass is enough to show you just how small you are. Then you can no longer afford to swallow you for lunch. Mm. Mm. Still it's good. Yeah, man, you look so low. You want to do that? You My house and your mother at the door. The house in the world. We'll never bother to explore. But you're back again, only different than before. Drop to the sky. I'm all over the place in that song. <laughs> the world you never thought to explore. Living between, but you're back again, only different than before. Up to the sky. Amiibos. I'm 
going to have to move you somewhere a little bit more convenient. The Rook Rivali Mifa or Bosa and Link and Zelda. That is not a terrible spot for those. I have like a little thing I keep all my books on and putting them on the edge of the rim there. You can't really see it, but it's not a bad spot for them, actually. <laughs> it's a little risky because I could easily bump into them and fucking knock them down. If I'm not careful. Oh, and that would uh, that would make me very unhappy <laughs> damaging any of those. Uh headphones? Ah, headphones. God, I've said it before. This is why I love recording and not streaming. Because, you know, it's not like I actually left anybody hanging. And if anybody is somehow watching this on YouTube, I doubt anybody ever would. Uh, they could always just, uh, you know, fast forward. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have to feel bad about stopping for, like, five to ten minutes to just get some food and, you know, take care of myself. I, I really am very fond of that, of just being able to do and not have to worry. Woo! I'd be astonished if I didn't run into one a-hole on my way to the Temple of Time. Go into the Temple of Time. Gonna talk to an old guy. Go into the temple of time. Go into talk to Pedo. Go into the temple of time. Gonna see the creepy old guy. He is definitely not a ghost. You motherfuckers! <laughs> I was thinking even as I was doing it, like, they better not fucking shoot me off that wall. It's gonna just annoy me. <laughs> And then they fucking did it. It's like, you better not do it. You better not, you, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. Can I, no, no, no. No, I guess, guess I can't. Get the V. Ah, oh, the Temple of Time. More like the Temple of Lies! Alright, let's get a bite of my Sammy before I... <laughs> oh, doing the voice that I do for the, um... The, the old man. The not king. <laughs> it's kind of fucking with my throat. Hmm. Hmm. This is a good prayer outfit, right? Fierce deity mask, Nintendo Switch shirt. Oh, yeah. I pray to thee, goddesses Din, Feror, and Nairu. Hear my blessing. Or hear my prayer. Bestow your blessing. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. <laughs> In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. Stamina, baby. You wish to extend your stamina me wheel, yes? Oh, yeah. I shall grant the power you seek. That's a little bit too big for me to eat. Uh, uh, am, I supposed, am I just supposed to carry this around? Stamina vessel. The size of your stamina wheel is tremendous. I can't believe it. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. 
Thanks, baby. Oh. Oh. Fly in. Please fly in. Oh, damn it. The blessings of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here quickly, you fucking child. Oh. Well, I'm older than you. Look at my hair. It's white. My eyes are pu my eyes are also pitch white. I'm o I'm way older than you. I got all the wisdom. I got wis wisdom coming out of my dick. I got power coming out of my my butt. I got courage up the wazoo. <laughs> Hopefully I can make that vertical bit right there. <laughs> Just somebody with gentle piano. Somebody, whoever made this game, somebody behind the scenes really gets a woody for gentle piano. <laughs> I mean, it works because it's awesome. I love piano. There's a there's a YouTube channel I I I love. Um, I think it's uh, Patrick Peachman. Um, the name sounds right. Uh, he does some of the best like piano renditions of like famous movie and TV scores, and they're so good. They're so fucking good. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> well done. Then, hey, young dialogue. Now then. The time has come to show you who I truly am. But you I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. Cool name. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> Nintendo Switch. King Roam. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I you are forgiven. You are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, 
a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. Scrub it away. Valiantly, when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. Oh, I feel so revitalized. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. Wow. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages make in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. That is a tall man, by the way. I feel like as a ghost, he made himself larger. Mm. Go on! Here is the paraglider. I don't know why we didn't record audio for this, but okay. Just as I promised. Paraglider saves you lots of trouble and lets you not die. Ding. With that, you should be able to safely just jump jump off fucking buildings and cliffs and stuff, and you'll be fine as long as you don't remember to pull it out. That's what she said. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. You know, he is a good man. I gotta give him that. I gotta give points where points are due. <laughs> And he tried. My bows are full? Damn. Alright. Right. Let's get rid of that Boko bow. Right! I can't just throw the bows, can I? 
Uh, where's that cheap ass Boko bow? Hell yeah, I want the soldier's bow. Better damn well believe it. Uh, how do I use the glider again? <laughs> I didn't look at the, I didn't look at the thing. Uh, it's probably under the star. Yeah. Uh, press X while you're in the air. Okay, so I can just jump. Good to know. And he wants me to go to the dueling peaks. But technically, I'm free now to go wherever the fuck I want. Technically. Hmm. And I kind of want to go to the castle just to get some gear. <laughs> it's stupid and reckless to go to the castle. But it's also very tempting. Mm, should I? I know I can... I know I can do it, but it'll be really tough. I'll have to av avoid the linels. Because they'll fucking kill you. The linels. I'll have to avoid the army of guardians. But I would really like to get my jumpy power. And that requires me to get to the bird. Wrong button. Which I believe the bird is like over here. The exact opposite direction. That is not at all the button that I wanted to do. Son of a bitch. Please delete the stamp. Thank you. Alright, well, if nothing else, I can start unlocking the towers for fast travel. That way I can get places faster. Mm. The curse, though, right now is the Sammy. <laughs> Mm. Humans don't have enough hands. I stand by that. Mm. Mm, speaking of which, yoink. Oh, it's right, I'm cold, aren't I? Hmm. I mean, I want more peppers. Fortunately, I've killed, like, everything on this island. So there's nothing left to steal. I really don't remember if you can, uh... If you can, uh, get to the, uh, the bird very quickly. Because it's a path. Like, you have to cross like a mountain to get to it. I do remember that. Alright, here is where Link was born. I think I see the bird. So yeah, I'm right about the direction. Getting there, however... I'm not 100% sure I have the ability. But there's only one way to know. And these are officially the first steps into a larger world. You think you're the only superhero in the world? What weapon do I have? Boko Club. Okay, that's a good weapon. Don't look this way.
Well, I mean, they're going to see me. <laughs> Shut up. Yes, I killed your friend. What are you going to do about it? Apparently, they're going to do a lot. Uh... All right, let's get rid of this Bopo Blin arm. Book. God, there's got to be a better way to do combat. Oh, that's the that's not the jump button. No wonder I'm fucking up. Yeah, you all dead. <laughs> Never deny the usefulness of a spear. They got range, man. Like, I'm a bow staff person, and a spear is this kind of a pointy bow staff. So, like, I like it. I don't think everyone's dead because. Oh, there we go. I see him. Hmm. I forgot. You can harvest arrows like this. Just let him shoot at you and fail. <laughs> and just get yourself like infinite arrows. As long as he doesn't suck too much. He's like, who's blowing up our stuff? Those were my friends. And you killed them. You killed them all. Why did you do that? Hey. He's like, where did I just go? Up the butt. Hey, I'll happily take five arrows. Eventually, I'll be using arrows like a mofo. Even though right now, I'm barely using them. Let's see. Any other good stuff down here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, my first foray into the world uh, has been successful. I murdered a bunch of people who were just minding their own business. So, <laughs> yeah! All for an opal. Aw. Aw. The one cell brainy bunch would be uh would be proud. I risked everything for opal. Alright, it's this way, right? Yes. Keep an eye out for any uh shrines or towers along this route. Wow, the game is so eerily quiet. Like, I'm so used to Zelda games having so much background music. Like, it's almost annoying. It's not annoying, but I mean, it's almost annoying just how much background music Zelda games tend to have. Like, every milliseconds. Do, 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 do. And while that's awesome, you know, fast forward 60 hours and it's like, okay, we get it. Do, 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 do. Another opal. game is so beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. They made the smartest decision in the world to, uh, to go s with such a visual, like, style. Don't feel like these are bad guys. I feel like this might just be a proper place to meet people. Hey, I didn't just try to kill you. Hey, it's Beetle! The name's Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my 
beetle-shaped backpack. I like beetles. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs and, and for me to milk you out of all your fucking money. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers. And I always charge a fair price or my name's not Beetle. I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? Uh, well, let's see what you've got. Arrows, arrows, hot-footed frog. Uh, apparently, I already have two hot-footed frogs. And apparently, I have no money. Uh, crickets and hardy lizards. I remember everything becomes important after a while. Uh, how much do you offer for, like, gemstones? 210 rupees for that ruby. That's pretty good. I think I got that ruby from... Ruby. From, um... From one of the, uh, amiibos. So that's good to know. Not to mention, opals don't sell for nothing. Alright, I'll hold off though for now. Because he doesn't have anything I really care about at the moment. I'm sure I will down the road. Long ago. Oh, a traveler. Tell me, have you seen a pure white horse anywhere? A long time back, my grandfather told me that he once saw the royal family's white horse grazing on Safula Hill. The thing is, just the other day, one of our customers said he saw a white horse on Safula Hill recently. Could it be a relative of the royal family's white horse for my grandfather's day? Well, if you happen to see a white horse on your travels, do you think you could bring it back to me? I hear they taste delicious. Leave it to me. Uh, thank you. If you see the white horse, please register it at a stable and bring it to me. The white horse on Safula Hill supposedly has a beautiful pure white coat without any mottling. I hear it's very elusive, though. Good luck. All right, where is Safula Hill? Uh, set destination. Might as well start helping people right out of the gate. You're a stable, right? So this is how I register horses. Okay. I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? Yes, I do. Oh, pardon me. Welcome to our stable. If you've come with a wild horse, you can register it. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, man. All right. Let's see. Anybody to talk to in here? Any loot? Ooh. Rumor Mill, Volume 3. Time for gossip and news about the past and the future. Today's topic is the weird and wonderful spirit, Koroks. At the moment, the night is at its darkest, when even the trees have drifted into slumber. Actually, the time of day doesn't matter at all. Anyway, uh, all throughout the world, you may spot these odd little critters as you wander the land. They could be under a rock or way out in the wilds or even just in a suspicious nook that seems slightly not right. Real eerie, huh? Tracy's recommendations, three out of five. All right, you're the innkeeper. Well, you're the same person, but one is an innkeeper and one is a... Can I pet you? I swear I remember being able to pet you. All right. <laughs> okay. Doesn't look like I know where Safula Hill is. <sighs> Delete stamp, please. There we go. So because I don't know where Safula Hill is, like, there's really nothing for me to get from him. Hey, traveler. Hey. <laughs> you want to go to the Rito Village, right? Didn't just follow the road north. Head for the Tabantha Frontier. That's exactly where I want to go. But if you don't want to run into any guardians, it may be wiser to take a detour to the east. Uh. Say, on an entirely different topic, I've recently begun selling adventuring gear as I travel. Doing work as a watchman certainly fills my soul, but not my pockets. Oh, well, maybe I'll buy it. What do you got, baby? I apologize for only having arrows, but arrows are something that you can never have too many of, am I right? A man is not wrong. 
All right. Well, that's good to know. Uh, Botrick. Botrick? Interesting. I feel like if uh, I ever made Patrick into a robot, uh, I would call it Botrick. Because <laughs> why not? All right. Get out of my way. I need to unlock the map for this area so I know where Safula Hill is. And then I could find a pale white horse. And its name is Death. All right, this is the shortcut to the east that he was talking about. Oh, we got the uh, the turtle tree up there. That's uh, that's where Master Ugwe died, right? <laughs> I am now leaving this world forever. May good fortune favor you, Poe. <laughs> yeah, just randomly dies for no reason. <laughs> kind of a little bit like Luke Skywalker in Episode Eight. So, uh, Mando, the Mandalorian just uh, did another bit with uh, Luke Skywalker, and it was magnificent. And it reminded me of something. So, when Star Wars Episode Eight came out, I was one of the very few people that actually defended it. Because I thought it was a bold choice. Because Star Wars never really takes chances. They always just kind of do this, the, the normal Star Wars thing. And that's fine. Star Wars is awesome. But, like, I thought it was really bold the first time I saw it. That they took Luke and they fucking, like, made him so realistic and made him bitter, and I was fine with it at the time, but after seeing Luke and how he's handled in uh, Mandalorian and Boba Fett, um, holy shit, I've, I've changed my opinion. <laughs> like, that movie for me has gotten worse and worse as time has gone on. Um, I, I found things to defend about it at first, even though it's an incredibly flawed movie. But I, yeah, Ryan Johnson, really, the director, really has no idea what uh, Star Wars is all about. And, you know, that's unfortunate because he was given the reins to direct a very pivotal movie that now is completely ignored even by the canon. <laughs> like, like, episode 9 didn't even touch on episode 8. Like, nothing mattered that happened in episode 8. <laughs> um, but yeah. Seeing Luke handled so beautifully so often is just a big reminder to me of just how poorly they handled him in that film. Oh! I remember this. Um, drop. Alright. Get another apple. Korok seed, or something. Korok poop. <laughs> Here's some poop. Alright, I'm taking those apples back. <laughs> Best believe that. I'm taking those apples back. Apples don't grow on trees. Shut up, I know they grow on trees. <laughs> uh, it's this way, right? I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. It's this way. Just can't see the bird flying anymore. <laughs> that is just a really green field. I thought it was like an ocean or a sea of mist, but it's just a really fucking green field. Oh, it's so beautiful. Like, going with the cell shaded look... Like, it's not a gimmick at all. It's just visually stunning. Like, it's... I will always adore how not a gimmick it is. Like, in Wind Waker, at first it seemed like it was going to be a gimmick. And then they actually just told a really great story. And it just happened to be a little bit cartoony. But, like... And the, the cartooniness is gorgeous, even to this day. Because cell shading is still beautiful. Whereas other games of the same era... Uh, their graphics really show their age way more. <laughs> so it's... Nintendo, while they don't always knock it out of the park, they, they had a good idea of what they were doing. Even if they didn't realize that they knew what they were doing. Like, they uh, they did a smart. 
All right, I got to try to remember to capture butterflies whenever I see the chance, because I know they come in handy later. All the all the bugs, all the critters that you can capture come in handy for crafting, for upgrading. Sometimes there's a thing inside of these that you have to shoot, I think. Yeah, get out of my way, birds! You think I won't kill a bird? Well, I'm going to meet Rivali, and I, 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 yeah, I'll kill a bird. If you ask him, like, I'm responsible for his death anyway. Because <laughs> he just thinks I failed. Ooh, a rusty shield. Rusty broadsword. Powerful weapons, but they break very quickly. I do remember that. Although I think you can actually repair rusted items. I don't remember how. But I think you can do something with rusted items. God, so many spicy peppers. It's like you're going into a cold area and they want to just make sure you're good. <laughs> it's like the game is set up to help the player. <gasps> what? Alright, straight ahead. No, what kind of a game helps the player? Hardy Truffle! I remember those come in handy too. A lot of the stuff you find is really good for cooking very specific meals. That can really help you kick ass later on. Yep. What's the point of that? Figured there'd be a gem or something. Nothing? Mm -hmm. right. Whatever. I didn't want anything cool anyway. Joke's on you. <laughs> I've gotta know. Yeah, it's not the right button. I've gotta know. There might be something cool. Yep. Hey, it was worth it. Give me something. Ice arrows. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I forgot about the elemental arrows. I remembered the guardian arrows because they were like a huge thing that they pimped in all the trailers. Normal arrows. I, for some reason, forgot about the elemental arrows. I remember bomb arrows. I think that's all the arrows. I don't think they have any other fancy arrows. Bomb. Uh, lightning fire. Ice. Normal. Guardian. Guardian, of course, being the most awesome. I had 999 in my uh, <laughs> Guardian arrows in my in my main file on Master Mode. It took a long time for me to... Uh, damn it! Damn it! All right. Uh, yeah, it took me a long time to, uh, to build up all of that supply. I don't remember where I built up that supply, but... Like, yeah, I did build it up. <laughs> I really don't remember where. But I have 999 of every arrow. Uh, which is really fucking cool. Bomb arrows, I think I farmed at uh, Hyrule Castle. There are some specific enemies you can just fight over and over again. And they pretty regularly drop like 10, 20, 30 bomb arrows, something like that. I think. Don't fully remember. Ooh, what? I That's something. That's a thing. I don't remember what that thing is. But that flower is a thing. I genuinely don't remember what it is. The Silent Princess. But don't I have to... Maybe I have to sneak up on it? I... I that's not the run button. Stop hitting that. <laughs> Stop being stupid. Oh, thought that was a pickup. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is where one of the guardian spirits is, right? Although apparently not right now. Ooh. I do remember Endura Carrots being very important for early on. Oh, hello. There we go. 
<laughs> like I can't hit him. Strengthened Lazal bow. Way more powerful than any bow I currently have. Like it's not even close. So yes. And Lazalfo's arm. Very strong, if not super brittle. Uh I want both of those. Uh yes. Yes, I want both of those. My spear is getting some great use. I can get rid of the BOGO clubs. BOGO clubs are just like, you trip over, you you, you walk anywhere here and you're uh, tripping over a uh, BOGO club. I didn't have to throw away one of those BOGO clubs. Oh, because that's a bow. That's not a, uh, hmm. Whoops. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. Well, let's get rid of the bow I'm currently using because it sucks compared to what I'm about to pick up. Yeah. Is that the bow I currently have equipped? 25. It's a bit strong to use right now. I'll equip the soldier bow. I think I got that from the uh, amiibo anyway, so it's not like I'm losing anything. And I want all the Endura Carrots. Those can really help you out when you're climbing. Ooh, it's all coming back to me. I love it. Like, I adore this game. I don't remember how to get the Guardian Spirit here. Like, you get to ride like a magical elk or something. And I think you get it here. <laughs> it's something like that. All right, there's the bird. All right. Well, I mean, would I be able to make that? Probably. Is that a chest? That's not the run button, you fucking moron. <laughs> what game have I been playing? Is it Spider-Man where that's the run button? Uh, maybe it's Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, shit. I've been playing so many games. Maybe it's The Last of Us. Oh, it might be The Last of Us. Oh, yes. Um, uh, Hammer. Yes, gemstones. I made the right decision to come back. That's money. Money in my pocket right there. Any other gemstone deposits? I don't think there's anything good up there. Alright, worth it. Nope, nothing under that. Alright, to the bird! Well, speaking of which... I really need to fix that. That is... Uh... 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 Option... Mm, that's not the select button. Nintendo, I love you, but what the hell? Every other video game in history. Aim with motion controls. Well, unfortunately, it's not really a thing right now. Um... That's the only sensitivity I see. That's better. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. Alright. So on the way to the bird, there's a couple of... Uh, there's a shrine and a tower. I haven't unlocked a single other tower. Ooh, I remember the trials over there. There's some cool lightning trials over there. And I think you even get the rubber armor over there. Um, which helps you survive the lightning trials. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't look down. In real life, I would be 
shitting myself. Like, holy shit. <laughs> love if I could make that, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I really don't think I can. I'm gonna try to go for somewhere a little safer. Because I'm gonna have to start dropping here pretty soon. Alright. Ooh, and keep an eye out in some of these fields. There are Lynels just roaming some of these fields, and if I run into one, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna survive. <laughs> Like, I, I haven't fully remembered how to f fight in this game yet. You're a strong boy! Or I'm using a busted-ass spear. Alright. That's fine. That's fine, I'm okay with that. That spear was, uh, only a three anyway. Let's go for the Lizalfos. Is that a lizard arm? Yeah, yes it is. <laughs> that's your weapon? Yep. Uh, I'm descended from a lizard. Oh, okay, that's good Good for you. No, I find that offensive that you're using one of my ancestors' arms as, as a weapon. Oh, well, I find it offensive that you're not using one of my ancestors' arms as a weapon. So, we're even. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Your face doesn't make sense. But that doesn't make sense either. You don't make sense! What? Alright. I'm going crazy. Alright. Mushrooms. Giant, giant, giant mushrooms. I think that was a, that was a town in uh, one of the guild D&Ds. Uh, they had to, uh, like, go to Mushroomville, basically. <laughs> it was fucking great. Ooh. Get out of my way, Fox. I'm not here to kill you. If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. I want that armoranth. I hate the name. <gasps> That's a Lionel. That is a Lionel. That is the thing you want to stay away from. Right fucking there. That will murder the shit out of me. Um, I have a full array of Lionel shields and weapons on my Master Mode playthrough. Just waiting to be used. But as of this moment in time, I can not survive that fight. Beware of bandits! Incidents of travelers being attacked in this area are on the rise. Traveling alone at night is dangerous. The Tabantha Bridge Stable up ahead can guarantee your safety. That's good to know. I should make a save. Just in case that Lionel sees me and fires a lightning arrow at me. Which can just fucking one-hit me to death. God. A different version of me would love nothing more than to take on that motherfucker. But I just, I know I wouldn't be able to survive. It's not, a, it's not an if. Like, right now I'm not as good at fighting as I used to be. I don't remember certain things. Um, I'll get there. But, for this exact moment in time, I just don't remember. I used to be so good at fighting. Like, Lionels couldn't even touch me there towards the end. <laughs> but I'm not quite what I used to be. Yet. Ooh, that music! Oh, peaceful. Razor Shroom. Cool name. <laughs> Tabantha Bridge Table. Hello, my good sir, or madam, as your individual gender may, may that, whatever you may identify with. You have a side mission. Oh, oh great fairy. Oh, pardon me, I was lost in thought. You've heard of the great fairy, right? The one from all those old stories. Look at the hand on my butt. <laughs> well. They're not just stories. I believe the Great Fairy is real, and I'm on a journey to find her. There's a tower just beyond the Tabantha Great Bridge. They say that if you go to the top and look at the ground sometime in the afternoon, the tower's shadow will point to the Great Fairy's fountain. 
After hearing that legend, I decided to find out for myself, but now I'm stuck here at the stable because, well, no matter how hard I try, I just know I'll never be able to climb that tower. And to think, I even saved up all my rupees as an offering for the great fairy. But you, you look like you could climb that tower without breaking a sweat. Would you be willing to make an offering of rupees to the great fairy on my behalf? Yeah, sure, bud. Yeah, you can just give me your wallet. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here, take the 500 rupees I saved up. It's my life savings. So please don't just go running off with it, okay? I mean... I mean... Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'll take that torch. What are you doing to me? I'll take that woodcutter's axe. What are you doing to me? You're cruel. Soldier's bow. I can get rid of one of my, um... I can get... Oh, soldier's broadsword. I can get rid of a lot of shit right here. All right. Uh... Let's get rid of one of these traveler bows. And then... Let's get rid of that torch. I only grabbed it because I knew I had room. Oh, yeah. Alright, hey. Uh, how much... What can I get for 500 rupees? Hey. Alright, screw you too. <laughs> Yo, Chork. His name is Chork. <laughs> I mean, my God, his parents hated him. Hey, they little Chork. It's like his parents were bullying him. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Chork. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Go way out south of here, and you'll find a flat hill called Wash's Bluff. Mm. On that hill, there's this mysterious-looking platform thingy. Me and Geggle, wow, the names, tried all day to figure out what it does, but we're stumped. All right, hard south. I will remember that. The Great Fairy's Fountain. Uh... Map. Uh... No, not map. Adventure log. A gift for the great fairy. Climb the tower beyond Tabantha Great Bridge in the afternoon and follow its shadow. God, can I just steal a horse? No, it's not Skyrim. Alright. I mean, where's the Tabantha Great Bridge? Oh! There's, a, there's the thing. I wanted to do the shrine on my way there. Because why the hell not? I'd be stupid not to. <laughs> God, I was very tempted to just go straight to Ganon's castle. And I, I could. I've done it before. It's hilarious. Hmm. What is it, my smart man? Uh, what you looking at? Hmm. What could it be? I happen to notice that a section of the cliff face there in the middle distance looks almost man-made. <laughs> my smart man, tell me. You can see it too, yes? I would take a closer look if I could get there on my own. Alright, you were looking hard that direction. Nope. The game... Alright. Right there. Section of the cliff face looks man-made. I'm going to take a wild guess here that you're looking at that. So, <laughs> there you go. I'll check it out when I have time, my main man. First things first, I must go to, go to this glowing building and seize my destiny. Ooh, one more. Okay, good. Hmm, destiny. The Shea Loya Shrine. I'm having so much fucking fun with this game. Like, I can't even put it into words how much fun I'm having right now. <laughs> T 
to you. <laughs> welcome, uh, loyal welcome to you who sets foot in the shrine. I am Shea Loya. In the name of the goddess, do my thing. Aim for the moment. So I'm guessing we're going to have to stasis something and then shoot something. Although, you know, that could, that's just an arbitrary guess. Could be a lot of things. Let's see. Ooh, now the camera goes too slow. Damn it. I guess I can't have it both ways. All right. Not, mm, mm. It's so unintuitive having the button on the right be the select button. Uh, camera sensitivity has got to be back to normal. It's terrible how slow it is right now. That's awful. <laughs> All right, that's better. All right, this looks like it's going to fly. It was... Oh, okay, I think I know what I need to do. Um, if I can reach that far with stasis. Oh, I can. Okay. Ooh, before I do that. Uh, uh, select my shitty bow. I don't want to use... I, wanna, I don't want to waste one of my good bows. There we go. Uh, boop. There we go. Yay! Ah, 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 my ankles! Oh my god, my ankles! Alright. Oh yeah! This game is really fucking awesome with uh, the slow motion mechanics. Like, they fucking nailed the slow motion in this game. When it came to uh, when you're in midair. Like, you could fight like a boss. If you just, like, jump off of something and, like... I forgot about that. As long as you have stamina, you can kick ass with that. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah. No wonder I'm going to be going for max stamina first. I'm going I'm to be a weak little, little, little nothing for quite a while here. Do I need anything up there? I think there is a chest up there. Yeah, okay, I want the chest. I could just finish. I've already finished the trial. <laughs> this was so easy. Wee! I want my arrow back. Topaz. I'm happy to get any gemstone because they mean money. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay. Don't. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. It's funny up until you start taking damage. But then it's not funny anymore. <laughs> then it ceases to be funny. And it's just the thing that'll kill you. Alright, let's look around for any just like hidden shit. Because so many things in this game have just hidden shit. Like hidden chests that have like cool gear, cool outfits, cool weapons. And one of these times, I'm going to look behind the shrine and there will be a chest. Because I... The back of my mind seems to tell me that there was something. <laughs> you pierced my eye with your finger. Well done. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. You can shoot a bow. In the name of the goddess Hylia, take my ball. May the goddess smile upon you. She won't smile upon me, though, because I am dead. I mean, they're all dead, right? <laughs> the king of Hyrule paid 120 monks to stand vigil for 100 years. <laughs> like, and then they all died standing a vigil. Like, it's actually kind of messed up. Why? Uh, oh, that's a different, um, that's a different shrine. Okay. Fairy clothes. What? Twilight relic. What? 
Phantasma! I remember all those. I don't remember those being side quests, though. Ancient horse rumors. Yes. Royal guard rumors. Okay. Don't... Uh, it's a dangerous thing to give me side quests. And you're giving me all the side quests. Garb of winds. That one's one of my favorites. Um, Usurper king. Cool name. Dark armor. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <laughs> That was a lot of side missions. Um, I think you have to find all of those. Like, I don't think it actually gives you specific directions. So, oh, okay. Hang on. Go back. Where, when did they find Misko's journal? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the royal family of Hyrule collected historically significant outfits, but they were stolen by a bandit named Misko. One of the items stolen was the blue garb of the Hero of Winds. Somewhere in the Daya village ruins is a journal that places the location of this treasure. I'll do all of that eventually. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Alright. I don't think I need to have any of them active right now. There's a tower somewhere near Tabantha Bridge? Alright, well I've already got that marked. Uh, I've got that marked, and then that's the cliff face. All right, forward. No fall damage. Oh, thank God. Oh, right. I can just fly. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Wee. Free wood. Always say yes to free. Video game 101. Especially when in every game you just have a bag of holding. Like, you, you might as well. Hey, Beetle! Buddy! Yeah! Yeah! You got anything different here? <laughs> you do? I know these come in handy down the road, too. Though I don't remember why. <laughs> something to do with upgrading, I think. Like, you need <laughs> butterflies to upgrade something. I could be talking out of my ass. I'm not sure. But it sounds familiar. Alright, let's go across the creepy bridge. It's actually not that creepy. It's actually kind of beautiful. Hopefully there's no bandits. Uh-oh. I'm all alone. Mm. What's this link? The Hero of the Wilds? Hero of Champions? I don't remember. The Hero of the Wild sounds pretty cool. Because um, we got the Hero of Twilight, Hero of Winds, Hero of Time. Mm. Mm, what other heroes? There's so many different heroes. Um, Hero of Twilight. Uh, like the first hero from Skyward Sword. Oh, hey! Look at that. I remember those little guys. I used to kill them by the dozen. Alright, this is the way to the tower, right? Alright, we're going up. Oh, there's a climbing outfit somewhere. I'm going to have to get that climbing outfit. Um, nope. There we go. It just makes your climbing, like, twice as efficient, which is nothing but good. Ruby! That's money right there. That's money in my fucking pocket. What is that? No, oh, just, okay, just foliage. Uh, bup, 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 bup. There we go. <sighs> oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. I think I chose wisely on the, um, the game I want to become my next obsession. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's been like five years since I played this game. 
that's a good chunk of time between a game such as this. Um, an open world game with so much to do. Uh, I think I said it at the beginning of this recording. The last time I played this was around when uh, the Switch and uh, Breath of the Wild first launched. And I 100%ed the game. Um, and then I decided to play Master Difficulty immediately after. Like, seconds after. Like, I beat the game and it's just like, I'm ready for more. <laughs> so I went to Master Mode and then I 100%ed Master Mode. Um... And then I, then I just, I was done with the game for a while. Like, I haven't played it since. Uh, so yeah, this is refreshing, kind of, picking up the game again after all this time. Uh, hold. Too far. Oh, not far enough. Oh my god, there we go. Apple! Oh, here's this voice. <laughs> you found me! Here's the poop! <laughs> bye bye! Alright, give me back my damn apples. Yo. <laughs> my god. What is wrong with me? <laughs> that is not healthy for my throat. Alright. Hope I can make that climb. Probably. <sighs> Looks like I can stand on that little ledge right there. I was wrong. But let's let's see. Hopefully there's a spot I can stand on coming up. That'll work. See if this was the shortcut that my mind built it up to be. Eh, I mean, yeah, kind of. I would have had to climb anyway, right? All right. Scratch. Do I see anything cool besides, of course, the giant flying metal bird? Uh. I know those ruins are a thing, but I've already marked them. Not seeing any other glowing red buildings. At least not nearby ones. All right. Let's aim for that outcropping right there, just in case. So if I fall, I'll probably you know survive, or I won't even have to worry about it because I'll just actually make it. So, all right. Had a better range than I thought it would. Oh, I forgot about that demon goo surrounding some of the towers. That might make this tower unclimbable for me right now. Because I don't have that cool kick-ass jumping ability. Ooh, a moblin. A moblin. That's a moblin. That's a moblin. Oh, boy. That might be out of my depth right now. If I shoot him, will he summon his hundred friends? Hey, that worked. Uh, shit, I need to equip a new bow. Hey. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, it killed me in one hit. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember how to fight. Oh, how long ago did I save? I really do. I think there's an auto save, but I just don't know. 
Okay. That's not awful. Fucking. What the? You want some of this? Do you want myth? You want some of this? Yeah! That's what I fucking thought! Don't howl at me! You're about to get shot. There has to be a better way to fight than that. Am I just not remembering, or is that really how you're supposed to fight? Because it feels... I don't know, not very... I don't know, not very... great. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm doing it on a controller and it just feels so much weirder that way. Because I only ever played this game on the Joy-Cons before. But I can't imagine it would make that much of a difference. I don't know. Alright, am I going to try to kill him again? Probably. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I know me. I want him dead. I want his family dead. <laughs> Ooh, I want you, damn it. Fucking butterfly. It's like that butterfly at the end of Star Trek Picard. It's just like, fuck that butterfly. <laughs> Made me cry. <laughs> Fucking butterfly. I don't think I'm awesome enough yet to fight him. Primarily because I don't remember how to really fight. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. But I feel like I can make this climb. Ooh, please let me stand right there. Yes! That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> I swear Link just said fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Shit. That'd be me climbing. Like, I wouldn't be dignified about it. Fuck. Fuck. This is so hard. Fuck. Screw dignity. Is that a storm brewing in Breath of the Wild? Is there, like, thunder in my, in my apartment? <laughs> like, vague, like, rumbly... Like, stomach thunder. Like, it sounds like a stomach flu, but it's thunder. <laughs> I bet that's the goop. That, that's all the goop right here. Okay. Climb this, and I should be able to jump to the tower easy enough. But can I get... Can I even get past the goop? Or do I need the ability to be able to, like, jump, jump? Like from, um, like the superpower jump. Because I'm heading to the bird specifically to get that power. Or maybe I could glide to the other little pillar here. And then from that pillar, glide to the tower. There's only one way to know. The wind was on my side. No, it wasn't. <laughs> well, guess we're getting the super jump. On that note, you score. Uh, oh boy, hang on. Can I make that jump? Only one way to know. Goddess of winds, hear my plea. I'm going to jump off this cliff and blindly trust that your wisdom will catch me. I mean, the trajectory looks good, the speed looks good, my stamina meter's looking good, I think I'm good. Oh yeah, that was nothing. That was fucking nothing. I'm gonna have to head back to that tower when I have the super jump. The super jump is like the greatest thing in the world. Uh, he will probably kill me in one hit. Um, 
I should uh, fuck off. <laughs> until I have better armor, or until I <clears throat> get better at fighting. Alright, so those are the two, and that's the village, so that's where I need to go. I got the bird, like, right above me, because I've got the shadow. There it is. Shadow from the moon, and the trajectory actually works out. That's really cool. Alright. I think I'll have to circle around because I don't think I could climb that. <laughs> I do remember several of the secrets in this area. Um, like there's a weird uh, thing you find in climbing one of those things. I know that. Oh, that's not something I'm ready for. Hmm. Where am I? Or am I? Or am I? Hmm. Will the game recognize a manual save when it so that way if I die it loads on the manual save? <laughs> <laughs> I would really hope it loads on the manual save. Not that I'm going to die. No. What? No. I had a really awesome weapon. That was it. The Traveler's Claymore. Alright. If I spin to win, maybe I could kill him? Uh-oh, it wasn't me. Oh, that barely did anything to him. Oh my god. Look at his health. I mean, Spin to Win did something. Oh, yeah. Uh, hang on. Bows. Oh, I could have grabbed one of the weapons off of his, uh, fucking thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. sword. <laughs> I don't think I picked up the royal broadsword, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't have enough room. That's heartbreaking. I would totally have used that. Uh... It's like he's learned he can be shot in the eye. <laughs> My god, he just has a tree. Come and get me, bitch! 
Better be able to pull some of those arrows out of his eyeball because I've gone through a lot. Damn, that would have been a perfect eyeball shot. Alright. Uh, D-pad. Here we go. Alright, I'll save one bomb arrow. Uh, boop, 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 boo doo. Oh, I forgot how to run. <laughs> I gotta get my bearings. Leave me alone. Aim for his heart. Yeah! I'll take that royal broadsword in a second. Hinox Toenail. Lots of food. Hinox Tooth. All of that stuff's for upgrades. Hinox Guts. Whole freaking roasted bird. That'll come in handy. Lots of meat. He had all the meat. Knight's Halberd. Man, I can't hold anything. I can hold the bow, which is a really, really good bow. Uh, Weapon-wise... Uh, no, that's the bow. Alright, keep the damn Traveler's Claymore. At least that one. Could probably get rid of the Traveler's Sword with the extra durability. No, I can get rid of the Woodcutter's Axe for sure. I'll take the Royal Broadsword. Hell yes. I would like the Knight's Halberd. Uh, very much. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. 14... Oh, I can get rid of the Lizalfos arm. Those th those break so fast. Oh, it comes back to you. <laughs> okay. Didn't know that was a thing. That's awesome. Um, thirteen on the uh, the halberd, and it's um you know metal weapon, so it'll last a little bit longer. That's really cool. I'll keep that out because it looks like. You know, you know, makes me look like a fucking badass. God, I, how do you upgrade the ability to carry more weapons? I know you can. Hey. Yeah, you're gonna want to run. Because I will, I will kill you. Ah, fuck it. I'm feeling confident. After taking out a Hinox. It wasn't a very smooth kill on the Hinox, but it was a kill. <sighs> Alright, onward to glory. Onward to glory I go. I got one of my arrows back. <laughs> God, I lost so many arrows. I used like 45 arrows and 4 bomb arrows killing that Hinox. And the bomb arrows were mainly just because I was, I was just being lazy. It's just like, okay, I, I want him dead. I want him dead. In no uncertain terms, I want him dead. Yeah, I think I gotta go all the way around. I forgot that the uh, Hinox actually carry weapons around their, their, their necks, like as necklaces. Oh, you want some? <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah, howl at me again! <laughs> you beautiful creature. You beautiful example of what life can create. <laughs> you dead piece of shit. I don't feel good about it. I really don't feel good about it. Is that a bear? Hmm. I see a bear fucking me up, but let's see. <laughs> hey. Arr! <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Requiem game, Pache. <laughs> oh, I feel—I don't feel good about that. It was minding its own business. I really don't feel good about that. Oh, I'm not a hero right now. I am the—I am the villain. Like, I really don't feel good about that. I'm not. I, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. Not—not not to a bear. Oh, trinket. Oh, I'm cold. Uh, well, I'm gonna die in milliseconds <laughs> because of my health. Uh, uh, that'll help. But not enough. Then, alright, let's go for you. Alright, that'll warm me up for six and a half minutes. I know Luminous Stone, you need to upgrade one of the armor outfits. Uh, I think the... Maybe the stealth one, but that almost wouldn't make sense. Because Luminous, you know, bright. You wouldn't want to draw attention to yourself. But how do you get... And you need to get to the village. Oh, it looks like you can go around. Okay. So I just went the stupid way, apparently. <laughs> well, I have six minutes. Well, I have less. As long as I don't dawdle, I should be fine. What is that? I'm dawdling. I'm dawdling! Hmm. All right. Well, let me grab the chill shroom. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Mama. Nope. I'm not worthy. <laughs> oh, there's a shrine right there. Are we doing this? I have the wrong weapon out for this. Sorry to your horse, because I will kill your horse to get to you. <laughs> Alright, I don't remember how to tame a horse. Yo, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, dude! Big hearty truffle, hell yeah! All right, I'm dawdling, but there's a there's a shrine. <laughs> so I'll have to eat another uh, cold resistance meal when I leave here, otherwise I'll die. <laughs> I don't know. Just me. Does just opening it unlock it as a fast travel spot? Because then I could just come back here. Eh, but I'm here. Fuck it. Path of the Hidden Winds. Alright. Oh, it's one of these. Alright. I vaguely remember these. Nope. Back, please. Oh, 
Ooh, first hit, baby. All right, give me something good. I will take money. I still have that guy's 500 bucks that uh, technically is mine forever. Technically. Shit. I didn't know it moved. No, you motherfucker. Well, fuck. My god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, any hidden shit that I can't see readily? Nothing I can just see. Thank you. I swear there's like a hidden chest on the back side of one of these. Or it's the video game equivalent of just overthinking it. <laughs> it's, that does happen. That does happen from time to time. Alright, where am I going? Where am I going? Will whatever that is even remotely be worth it? How do you get over there? Ooh. Oh, that's frustrating. That's so frustrating. Not even close. I'm trying to build up momentum, but it's not easy to have the momentum and get as high as you need to. <laughs> okay, thank god you can just grab the ladder. There's a good chance whatever's in that chest is just pointless. It's a weapon I can't carry or it's money. The thing I always wonder is, is it armor? Is it armor I could use? But I'm not gonna lie, where do I actually go from here? <laughs> There's something on the back of this? Oh, there is. Missed it by that much. Oh, I'll bet I can get to that chest via that. And yeah, build up my uh, stamina. Yeah, there you go. I was trying something that was impossible. <laughs> it's good to know. That makes me feel a little bit better. A knight's bow. That's very good. And it looks like it actually let me pick it up. Neat. I have a lot of really good bows right now. Flurry of bows. Alright, check around for just miscellaneous stuff. Check behind. Alright. Looking good. Wrong button. <laughs> so gross. Friendly greeting. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. 
Here's my ball. Don't make fun of it. I was a grower, not a shower. Oh, my back. Okay. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. All right, and now I'm going to die from uh, the fucking cold. Unless I just waste a meal. Unfortunately, my own fault. <laughs> 100% my own fault. I own it. All right, let's get to this damn Rito village. Oh, is this the training ground? Yeah, the training ground is important. I remember that. I have memories being at that training ground with uh, my former friend, Rivali. Who, he never thought of me as a friend, but I thought of him as a friend. <laughs> like, Link respected the hell out of him, but he never gave a damn about Link. Although, it's sort of revealed later that maybe he does have a respect for Link and he's never knew how to say it. You know, he's one of those macho pricks that just pretends like he's tough shit all the time. Hmm. <laughs> I think Biff from uh, Back to the Future. <laughs> kind of. Only a bird. And likable. <laughs> oh, poor Biff. <clears throat> Alright, I thought this was the pathway to the village. Now I'm seeing it's just another... Oh, are there big boys up there? There are big boys up there. I'm not quite up for the challenge. <laughs> ah, there, uh, th th is that a light arrow? Oh, ice arrow. Okay. <laughs> like that. <laughs> like what? Alright, I'll be back. You know, I'll be back. I only got like five, ten more minutes to play. So, I don't want to get stuck in too much of a, a combat sequence. I need to find my way to the, the, the Rito Rudo village. Which is right there. So, do I really have to, like, jump to it? I guess I do. Okay. Are they shooting at me? It's rude. That's so rude. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, if I could make it to one of those rocks, I'd probably maybe be fine. Oof. Only one way to know. Oh, there's a bridge. Well, well, I'm already here. Oh, there's no good standing spots. Can I stand on that part right there? I sh it looks like you should be able to stand right here. It's bullshit. You should be able to stand right there. I'm never gonna make it. I'm never gonna make it. There's just no way. Unless I can get to that spot, then maybe I can stand right there. No! Right, I can't glide. All right, all right, I tried, I tried. All right, that mountain looks a little more passable. I just didn't go far enough. All right, don't see me, don't shoot me. Only got a few more minutes left to play and I wanna get to the village before I call it a day. A 
I'll take that arrow because I used up so many killing a Hinox. I didn't even have to kill the Hinox. Is that another bear? No, that's like a rhino. Or something. There we go. I don't think you can ride the rhinos. That would be cool though. The bebops. Oh, no, no. Is Rocksteady the rhino? Yeah, I think Rocksteady's the rhino. Bebop was the, uh, the pig. Hey, I feel bad about killing your friends. I'm not gonna kill you. I actually really do feel bad about killing the friends. That, uh, was not very cool on my part. Innocent creature just minding its own business and I fucked it up. Alright, the Rito Stable. Uh, no, I don't need any shields. Hmm. The nights are sure are cold. Spicy. I need that Bernie tingle. I need curry rice. Now, I have Hylian rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of Goron spice. I can't just run off and leave the stable. If you happen to get your hands on some Goron spice, can you give it to me? Yeah, sure thing, bud. Sure thing, random. <laughs> curry rice warmed me right the fuck up. All right, just another rando, rando. Rumor Mill 2. Greetings from Tracy, your source for the best gossip and news. Have you been hearing any good stories in your travels? I've got a great one for you today. The sword that seals the darkness. That's a pretty good story. Uh, the only one who can wield this sword carries the blood of the hero in their veins. That's what they say about this special blade. Rumor has it the blade has been hidden away in a forest somewhere. I have to admit that this rumor really has me interested, but sometimes you have to face reality. My reality is there isn't any hero in my bloodline, so this sword would just be a big paperweight to me. Tracy's recommendation, one out of five. It still would be a sharp sword. Even if you couldn't use the uh, actual magical element, you would still have a giant effing sword that could stab people. And probably sell for a lot of money to collectors, because let's be honest, you know, it's the sword of evil's yeah. bane. Good evening. Did you need something? Who are you? I am Gazane of the Ruto. The, the Rito? I said Ruto. Uh, yes, the Rito of Lake Totori, where the men are fine archers and the women better singers. We're sexist birds. You being a Hylian, I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. I am better than you and I know it. <laughs> Ugh, birds. Woo! Can I catch those? I don't remember. We'll find out. Sunset Firefly. Say goodbye to your freedom. <laughs> you enjoy the fresh air of the moon the moonlight? Not anymore. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> oh! Alright, well... Okay. The, re the, the Rito aren't, uh, patrolling for you guys? <laughs> well, if I had more time, I would just, uh, indulge you. <laughs> but, and I would probably just kill you. Or you guys would kill me. One of those would happen. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay, let's try that again. I was running too fast. I need my stealth outfit. I'm gonna have to Google where to get some of those things. Just because I've gotten them before, so I'm not gonna feel bad about Googling. It'll just be a quality of life thing now at this point. Like, the climbing gear and the stealth outfit, I think, are the two big ones. That is a very enthusiastic bird <laughs> whistling right there. Oh! Okay, I know what that is. <laughs> I don't have a brain blast yet, do I? I know Link gets more than a few brain blasts in this game. <laughs> Burn!
giant roost. <laughs> that would never be able to support the weight of that giant metal machine. <laughs> Good lord. Link. 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 That divine beast was taken over by Ganon 100 years ago. You must find a way inside in order to free it from Ganon's malice. Oh, I mean... I, I believe in you, Link. I believe in you too, Z. And I'm coming for you. One way or another, I'm coming for you. I will find you. But first, I gotta, I gotta put my, uh, I gotta put my party gear back on. <laughs> ah, the Rito Village. A traveler at this hour. I'd like to show you around, but now's not a really good time. Uh, what's going on? Did you see the beast in the sky? That's Divine Beast Vamido. It showed up a while back. The Rito warriors who flew up to check it out were shot down. They were shot dead. They say it used to be a divine being that protected the village, but it doesn't seem very divine to me. It just kind of fucking kills people. Thankfully, the, the thing only shoots at uh, anything flying high up above the village. But still, it is pretty demoralizing for us Rito to have to fly so low to the ground. Any other questions? Uh, I mean... Yeah, where am I? This is Rito Village, but, well, you could say we're not in a welcoming mood. Talk to the folks in the village to hear all about it. Any other questions? Nah, man. But, uh, it's genuinely nice meeting you. You... Your people are fucking cool. Look, you are a cool species. A rusty halberd that I can't even pick up. But I've got a not rusty halberd on me, and it is doing work. Like, it is doing legitimate work. Alright, where's the, uh... Where's that shrine? I'd love to just unlock the shrine. Hi! Oh... Hey, evening. I thought you were gonna murder me for a second, but then you didn't. You just broke my pots that I spent like all week making for my, you know, grandmother's funeral. But uh, anyway, have you seen it? Divine Beast Vamado? Yeah, I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it, but I have bigger problems. My mom is so annoying. <laughs> she asks me to help out at the store every single day. Like, she wants me to be mature and responsible and shit. I can't take it anymore. I don't... I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell wherever I want. I want to sell bombs and hookers and shit. You know what? Forget the bombs. Well, I wish you the best of luck, Fison. Do do do. I love life. Life loves me. Oh. All right. I gotta get back to work. Hey, buddy. You should stop by and take a load off. I work at the Swallows Roost. I'm guessing that's. Is that this? Snore. Ugh. Is this the inn? Only stall goblins have reason to be up this late, traveler. This is Swallow's Roost, Rito Village's premier and only inn. Uh, you know what? For right now, no, I'm good. There's, I think there is a difference between a Rito bed and a normal bed. I think you get like a buff if you sleep in a Rito bed. Which, there is a strange logic to that. Yo, bud. Hi. I see those bomb arrows. You think I'm not looking at those? Welcome to the Slippery Falcon, the legendary Rito General Store. You look beat. Working hard, eh? Or hardly working. Eh? Uh, what do you sell? <laughs> we carry just about everything from items for defense to everyday groceries. I see that butter, too. By all means, please peruse the book of recipes there and buy some of our fine ingredients. Alright. Your bomb arrows are 200 rupees for 5. In the long term, that does pay off, but like, damn. Uh, cane sugar. Tabantha wheat. Goat butter. Sun shrooms. You got the book of recipes over here. Can't you... I forget. Can you sell food? Like, cooked goods? Because I think that is a good way to make money. Oh, that's not what I meant to hit. Oh, 
Oh, you can. Okay, so I could sell that for 70 rupees. That's good to know. I could, like, take a bunch of my just random ingredients and make a shitload of food. I could Google what the most efficient food to make out of these ingredients is and then just, like, make the shit out of it. <laughs> and then just sell it. I wonder if there's, like, something you can make specifically out of, like, these items that's worth more than the constituents, like, the, the, more than the sum of their parts. And then you could just farm for infinite money. <laughs> Uh, it's, um, it's the, um, the green emerald glitch in Fable all over again. You could buy an emerald for, like, like, 400 rupees, and then if you buy a specific, or if you upgrade to a specific, um, upgrade. Yeah. Um, shit, I lost track. I lost my train of thought because he was freaking out. Uh, if you, if you upgrade your, uh, like persuasion or whatever uh, you can sell them back for more so you buy it for like 400 then you can sell it for like 700 <laughs> and you can just do that infinitely and get like millions of money the world's falling apart but there's no use in me complaining about it yeah I hear you man I have a job to do the village elder can worry about all of the doom and gloom mumbo jumbo I respect you because I I agree with that mentality all right snow quill tunic 600 bucks 1,000 bucks for the headdress, but I know you need the cold resistance. Um, so I'm definitely going to need the money. I could get a bunch of money. I have 550 right now. I stole 500 from that one guy. Um, I could sell, like, some of my gems. Hey. Hey, thanks for coming out so late. Brazen Beak is open 24 hours. What can I do for you? Looking to sell. Like, I got two rubies, so that's 420 just right there. 420, blaze it. Topaz. Like, if it came down to it, I don't want to sell my stuff just yet. Not just yet. God, where's that shrine? There it is. Okay, I want to do the shrine, and I want to call it a day after that. Think I can make that climb? Maybe. We'll find out. Either can or I can't. Either can or I can't. Oh, stretch. Uh. Akvakwat Shrine. Those names, they are so unlike any other Zelda names. Like, it almost doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's like, where in Zelda, in Hyrule's history have those names ever really come up? I want to know. Oh. Poor Knight's Halberd. Hey, this weapon got some work. Killed a few enemies. Ugh. I'm so, I still think it's so stupid that Nintendo Switch shirt. That was not in the game the last time I played this. <laughs> that did not exist. I'm going to have to Google what other cosmetic items they might have added since... Since, uh... Since this game came into existence. Ooh, okay. Slightly more complex shrine than I imagined. I remember this shrine. You have to rotate. Hopefully you can hit them, because I don't have that many arrows. Ooh, I don't have much in the way of swords, either. Hmm. Alright, I think you have to get all the fans glowing. Or, all, yeah, all the fans blowing. Alright. Hmm. 
That one only makes sense facing that direction. That one only makes sense facing that direction. And if I take this to that direction, then I can rotate the other one and all the fans should still be going. Hey! I got that way faster than I thought I would. And there's there's a secret back there. I gotta figure out how to get to it. Let's see. No, oh, that was a much easier I, that was much easier than I remembered. Alright. I'm okay with that. Alright, then there's something back here. Hmm. To just shoot it? That feels too simple. I mean, I only wanted to find out. Oh, all right. <laughs> I was overthinking it. It felt too simple, but it wasn't. Ancient core. I know that's for upgrading the ancient armor. Guardian armor. There's nothing else down here, right? Well, there's nothing stopping me from jumping down here to check. Oh yeah, there's stuff. Well, I do have the ability to make water pillars. <laughs> so maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. up. Give me your stuff. I will happily take all gems right now because money. Ooh, that was close. No idea if there's any in any of the other ones, but I mean, there's only one way to know. I think you can have three of these up at once before it starts breaking them. <laughs> Hey Feathered spear. It's definitely beautiful. Inventory's full. Well, my halberd is about to break, so. There you go. I'll take that uh, feathery spear, thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. Alright. Doesn't. Well, there's something down there. I bet that's my arrow. Alright, well, I want my arrow back. Thank you. I'm not exactly made of arrows, <laughs> I'm just gonna say. I kind of went through a lot of them. Oh, you can climb from the water. Well, that's good to know. I thought if I fell in the water, I might be screwed. All right, this was a much, much, much easier uh, room than I would have expected. Or much easier shrine. I, there might be a harder version of this later in the game. I feel like there would be. All right, nothing behind the shrine. Let's poke it in the eye. What the hell? You broke my slumber. Your resourcefulness in this hero word. Hi, Leah. Take my ball. Somebody dressed up my mummy corpse like this. I'm not actually talking to you right now. This is the nightmare. Please free my spirit. <laughs> I have five pieces of poop. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Alright, that's a good stopping point. Finished another shrine, got to the Rito village. Uh, next part, hopefully I can easily get up to the bird. Finish the whole bird dungeon. Get my uh, the cool kick-ass jumping superpower, which really is a huge feather in your cap in this game. Because it just sets you up to kick ass. Um, like So much of this game involves climbing or getting up to certain areas. And the ability to just jump and fly like a good height opens up a lot of the game just by itself. <sighs> yeah, if you watched any of this, thanks. Uh, hopefully I'm not too boring. Uh, peace.